dicking around. But I appreciate it, bro. Let me see. I didn't see the notification. Oh, yeah, shit. What the fuck, man? I appreciate it. Big ups. Thanks so much, man. Here, I'll uh, show the gift. Big ups, dude. Really appreciate it. Griffin sneak. I was just joking, bruh. I don't expect gifts. But thanks, dude. That's very uh, positive of you. Brit, reopen your OnlyFans then. Start producing. Or you know what? Start your own gaming YouTube channel. The problem would be is if Brit opens up an a uh, OnlyFans or YouTube channel, we might find out that Brit is actually a Brian. Yikes. Gaming. Start streaming Halo right now. Go live. So we can shower you in super shackles. Generation of the 10, mute R. Kelly and react to the video I sent. All right, you generation, bro. Do you know how easy it would have been for you to just fucking copy the link and put it in that exact same super chat? Because do you actually think I still have that link pulled up? All it takes is control C and control V, my guy. Put in at least the minimum. All right, I'm Key. Off to the fucking piss dungeon with you. of your content in a while but i noticed you've been streaming occasionally what's the occasion also hi uh no particular occasion man 
just typical night stream. Nothing really too crazy, but we appreciate it. Big ups. Off to the gulag with I'm key. That's right. New generation with the five. Happy? Depends on the video. No, I'm not happy. I saw the thumbnail. I'm not happy. Why would you think I'm happy? That must be some type of sick joke. Jem Sterling is one of the most foul creatures on this fucking website we call YouTube, hands down. I mean, even before the silicone tits, his content was already fucking insufferable. Now it's even fucking worse. Jim Sterling is exactly what would be considered the side effects of our modern world. You know, we have too much money, and no one has any legitimate struggles, and resources are too fucking abundant. To the point where a guy who is morbidly obese can stand in front of a camera, ranting and raving all fucking day, about how much he hates fucking video games, blah, 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 blah. To the point where he saves up enough money to become a woman, get fake silicone titties, even though he probably already had enough body fat to just transfer it over. And now rants and raves about how fucking oppressed he is every single day while making over $100,000 a year talking about fucking children's video games and big companies he hates while profiting from being on a platform created by a big company. I mean, it's truly a side effect of the modern Western world, bro. We just have it too good. We don't know struggle anymore. of the two forgot first video do tis uh give me a second i'll check what it is dude i'm really happy to know that i'm in the top 0.015 percent of men though that's a pretty big w i must say that's kind of cool I like that little fucking statistics calculator thingy. That thing's neat. And what, body fat? That's right, man. No, on that female delusion calculator or whatever, it tells you what percentile of men you're in given your like specific attributes. So like you enter in your height, your race, whether you're married, whether you're fat or not, and then your uh, annual income. And it tells you what percentage of men meet that criteria out of the entire male population of the United States. 
So you can basically use it to rank yourself to see like how successful or how desirable you are based off of those uh, stats pretty much. It was pretty interesting. But yeah, basically if a chick wanted to find a guy like me, only 0.0015% of men would fit that criteria, so. Gaming. It felt pretty good, man. Either, either, either subscribe, donate, or get the fuck out. King Samuel with the two, wait. Oh, Jim Sterling is... Stop being gilded, domesticated garbage. Sup, chat. What's up, man? And Black Lightning with the tier one. Appreciate it, man. So why do you still not get any bitches, bro? Because I don't get my fucking bitch ass out of my fucking apartment. Duh. And I don't speak to any bitches. Pretty easy. Griffin, how much money do I have to donate for you to get a bitch? A lot. I don't want a bitch. No, I do not want a femboy twink or a cat boy. My name is not Nick Fuentes. Thank you very much. Griffin wants a redhead liver. Fuck no. Have you seen the Rudy Giuliani stuff? It's so funny. No, I have not. What's it about? Kikamura with the five, getting a refund of 1600 from college. Any thoughts on how to use it to invest or something? I mean, if it's only 1600 bucks, just stick it in like the S&P 500 or something and forget about it. Open what's called a Roth IRA investment account and throw it in there. And then just basically throw it into an S&P 500 index fund and forget about it. That's what I would do. Treat it like it doesn't exist, and then when you're 59 and a half, you can take it out tax-free. But yeah, everybody in this chat, if you are above the age of 18 and making less than $130,000 a year, should have a Roth IRA account and should be depositing $6,500 a year into it. Or whatever the new maximum is. That should be the minimum you invest every year into your retirement.
Bro, ain't nobody got that type of money if they had college, let's be real. Mm, no, I actually know a lot of people that made a lot of money in college. If you work, you'll have plenty of money. I mean, I guess it depends on how expensive like your school is, but if you work full time while you go to college, you probably have a good amount of money. Yeah, you could always become a stripper. Use that tight, young college bod to make some money. Did I work while in college? Yeah, man. I was. Gaming. I graduated with zero debt. And then I basically got like a, I think 80 or 90% scholarship to my uh, grad program, so. You can make 20 to 40K a year just working at a restaurant. Yup. Even more if you get good tips. Or if you're a bartender too, that's another easy job to do in college. Cause lonely men and women are looking for young college age men and women to fucking talk to at the bar. And you know, you get some good tips. There was this one girl in one of my finance classes. She used to make like, I think $500 a night working at one of the local bars in tips. So she'd make like a hundred bucks from actually working and then like 500 bucks from people just tipping her. Cause she was pretty attractive, but you know. What lonely men would talk to other men? Well dude, that's where the uh, lonely women come in. I don't know, maybe you're just looking for a friendly person to talk to, man. Not everything has to be sexual. Maybe you're just looking for a friend. We know what she was doing to get those tips. Yeah, she worked at a bar. That was like incredibly fucking popular. So yeah, that's what she was doing. <laughs> like, it's not really a unheard of thing, man. You can make really good money in tips if you're a bartender. Do I go to bars? Nope. He's R. Kelly, man. I'm Key is R. Kelly. It's his fucking alt account. She worked at a bar. Yes, they do exist, man. Especially on college campuses. I've got like a bar every fucking like 10 feet <laughs> in the area I live, so I don't go to any of them though.
how would you react at a bar? What the fuck does that mean? React to what? What do you mean, how would I react at a bar? That makes no sense. There's like a free Chipotle code that I just saw for a free burrito. So here, I'll let you guys in on this shit. So what you want to do is text this number. So the first is the number you text, and then the second part is what you text to the number. And if you're lucky, you'll get a uh, free burrito from Chipotle. I doxed myself? Yeah, man. Call that number. I'll pick up. Yeah, I just got another one. I've already gotten... So basically, like, Evo is giving out free fucking Chipotle. And... Yeah, it's like one of the promo codes. Damn, I ain't got shit. You didn't get it? Damn. But yeah, you just text the number, and then if you win, you get a uh, little code to enter into your Chipotle app, and then you get a free burrito. DJ Aftershock with a two, how much to beat your chest? At a gorilla? At a gorilla? I mean, I don't know where the fuck I can find a gorilla, man. I don't know, like five bucks, dude. Like, <laughs> I'd have to go to the zoo, though. I mean, I can make you a pinky promise the next time I go to the zoo, I'll beat my chest in front of a fucking gorilla. I have no idea. chest in front of a reddit mod that's easy man they can't even stand up out of their chairs what are they gonna do roll at me uh volley with the five griffin do you think taking computer programming and business education in college I wouldn't bother with business education. I would do like a uh, actual like focused business degree, something like accounting, finance, business information technology or information systems. Um, I mean, even econ is somewhat beneficial, but 
I would stay away from anything like education related because if you have like a specialized business degree, you could technically teach it anyway. So yeah, I'd go into like the realm of like accounting, finance, business information, like business computers, whatever the hell it's called at your school, I don't know. But yeah, those are like the three areas I would look at. Rick Rod with the five. How you doing, Griff? Can we watch trans? Mm. If it's short, maybe, but I really don't want to fucking watch trans videos, dude. This shit's gay as fuck. Like, I don't want to fucking talk about trans people every night. Shit's irritating. Mm. I don't know, bro. 20 minutes? I mean, let's do a poll. If it's a pretty decent majority of yes, we'll watch it. But I really, like, I don't really want to watch, like, a bunch of fucking, like, trans, t like, I don't know. Like, the whole political shit I don't really like getting involved with. Let's see. Watch the trans video. If people vote yes in the next five minutes, then yeah. Like, if it's something like Jim Sterling that's still somewhat related to gaming, then that's fine. But it's like, I really don't want to just watch, like, straight-up political fucking, like, commentators. Like, that to me is just not very interesting at all. And I don't really want to evolve into that type of shit. I don't really want to be in that fucking arena on a nightly basis. Rick Rod with the five, you don't have to watch it, but can I get a gaming? Absolutely, man. Gaming. Griffin needs to get on that amazing Lucas Grift set. Is he even like an effective political grifter though? Because I don't really think it's helped his channel at all. It's actually hurt him. So, I don't know. I feel like amazing Lucas's political takes have like really fucked him over in the long run. Like, I remember that stupid fucking take he had where he basically said, like, you know, that this guy was no longer black because he married a white woman and had mixed-race kids. Like, he had to turn in his black card or something. It's like, bro, what the fuck? I think he lost, like, 100k subs or something fucking wild. For, like, it was a huge amount of subs he lost. Like, it was fucking wild, bro. Like, it was a huge backlash against him. Are we talking about James Charles? No, bro, we're not talking about your man crush. Buff Garfield with the two. Uh-oh, man. Don't fucking do it. No. You did it. Damn it.
Yeah, I don't know, man. If I was on Amazing Lucas status, getting like 10,000 views a video, barely holding on to relevancy, the last thing I would be doing as a full-time job is fucking YouTube. That shit's just sad. Like, move on with your life at that point. Like, upload videos you actually enjoy making and then just do something else. What do you think of retards using the riot, the console war? I think it's funny, honestly. Like the, oh, if they were giving away a Series S, nobody would have showed up thing. I don't know. I think it's pretty funny, personally. Nah, if you can get 100k views, like, consistently, and it doesn't take you very long to make videos, like, if you can get 100k views on a video every single day, and they're, like, you know, 20 minute long videos, that's about, what, $600 a day, so about $18,000 a month, so it's a decent chunk of money. Yep, I heard about the fucking guy who got uh, in trouble for the Pokemon scams. Blake's Breaks. Yup. Personally, I don't like whatnot, but, you know, like, this type of shit is, like, very rampant on that platform. Like, a bunch of people just straight up gamble on there. It's fucking stupid. Personally, I hate opening packs now, so I don't even enjoy it. So I would never partake, but, yeah. Eh, 18,000 is fine. It's not a huge amount of money. It goes pretty quick. It's pretty easy to spend 18,000. Especially when a third of it disappears in taxes, so you're really only left with about 12,000. You know. It goes pretty quick. He made, oh, no, he didn't make 8 million from the Pokemon ship. He had $8 million in sales, including the sale of a Pikachu Illustrator, which he paid pretty much the same for. So, no, he didn't make $8 million. He had $8 million in revenue. Huge difference. DJ Aftershock with a 2, Hassan had a take on the Kai Sinat New York City riot. Did he say it was justified? You would do miracles for 12k? I don't think so, man. 12k doesn't go as far as you think. Like, everybody thinks, like, oh shit, dude. If I was making $100,000 a year, I'd be set. Until you start making $100,000 a year and realize how quickly it goes. What am I going to debate Hassan on? I don't really have a desire to speak to a Twitch streamer, bro. I prefer to just kind of pretend that they're not even real people and they're just like government psyops to make people fucking stupid. What do you mean 12,000 used to get you laid? I'm pretty sure if you put a uh, $12,000 towards a bitch, she would probably fuck you.
12,000 is a good down payment on a car. Yup. motherfuckers are just retarded in general like New York City people are just fucking stupid in general man there ain't much intelligence in them streets like bruh it's like fucking crazy like why the fuck do you start flipping shit over a fucking PlayStation 5 Yeah, so I saw the new picture of fucking uh, Leafy today, and apparently he has gotten a lot fatter. There's a, a new photo out in addition to that other one we looked at last night. So yeah, he doesn't really look that different. He just needs to lose weight. He needs to hit the fucking gym, bro. Yeah, he needs to just, like, shed some pounds. He's probably, like, 30, 40 pounds overweight, and if he could just drop that, he'd probably look exactly like he used to. would look like him if he ever gained weight. No, I have I actually have a chin, bro. Believe it or not. Believe it. But yeah. Nah, Leafy's like Asian or some shit, bro. More like half Asian. I don't fucking know. But he definitely looks like he has some Asian in him. I do not. I'm 100% white. Griffin listens to King Vaughn? What the fuck? I mean, if Leafy weighs 135 pounds, then yeah, I weigh 40 more pounds than him.
Volley with the five, I can already see it now. It's going to be the 4090 situation. Gary Griffin said 12K a month isn't much. You had a good point on the pocket watchers. Yeah, I mean, dude, honestly, like, if people think, like, you know, $12,000 means you're fucking rich forever for the rest of your life, like, no. Because the places you have to live to earn that much money anyway, like, it's gonna be eaten up by your cost of living anyway. Like, in order to make $12,000 a month, you have to live in an expensive city where your rent's probably gonna be three grand of that already. You're gonna lose about 25 to 30% of it in taxes every year. And, you know, food, gas, everything is more expensive, so. Yeah, that's just uh, straight facts, I don't know. Let's just say I can relate, because I live in one of those areas. <laughs> I don't know. I can speak from first-hand experience that $12,000 a month does not go very far. Especially if you live in an expensive city, but also it's not like all of a sudden, oh my god, I make six figures, I'm rich. Like, no, you're not rich if you make $12,000 a month. You're doing okay, but it's not like, oh my god, bro, I'm loaded. I never have to work again after this year. Yeah, like $12,000 a month in a DC area is like literally peasant status still. Like you're slumming it. You don't have the nice apartment. You're not like balling out with a like new fucking, you know, Range Rover or Audi or some shit like that. You know, you're probably having to cook most of your meals, not going out every night. You're going to have to budget like does not go as far as you think which sucks but you know if the government would stop stealing 30 percent of your fucking money that you make from taxes then it probably would go a lot further i mean shit man i'd be happy with an extra sixty thousand dollars a year <laughs> oh fuck who wouldn't i want a ferrari no i want a rolls royce man Griffin hates poor people and wants them to die. Yup. Ha, <laughs> guilty. Nah, Will, there's an old saying when it comes to taxes. If you pay taxes, it means you don't make enough money yet, which is very fucking true. I don't make enough money to get out of taxes. But once I start making, like, millions of dollars a year, then that's when I can start getting out of taxes. It's a very true saying. If you pay taxes, you don't make enough money yet. Imagine having one trillion dollars in cash. Uh, the Saudis can. Yep, anything you can do to get out of paying taxes is very respectable in my opinion.
Fuck taxes. Oh yeah, I've let that poll run for 20 minutes instead of five. So yeah, the answer looks like it's gonna stay at no. I was gonna end that at uh, 12.15, not 12.30. Oops. The IRS will always be... be... Wait. Dude, I hate this fucking heart icon on the chat now. It blocks, like, the most recent message on desktop. It's really irritating. Can't fucking read. Yeah, I don't know why they couldn't put it up top. It makes no fucking re like it makes no sense to have it where it is. Garbage UI design. Volley with the 10 facts, Griffin. I can't believe people were that dumb saying you were destroying the GPU market buying a 4090. If I see a thumbnail tomorrow saying Griffin said 12K isn't much, I called it. Yeah, I don't give a fuck, bro. Like, that's the thing. These pocket watching dipshits can cope. They don't understand it because they don't make that much money yet, but yeah. I mean, I think, what was it even like we were talking about? Somebody said I could work miracles with 12K a month, which is laughable because you can't. I mean, maybe if you live in like fucking Ukraine, then sure. But yeah, I don't know. It is what it is, man. I really don't give a fuck at this point. Griffin doesn't like having his fans interact with the stream. Yeah, man, the only interaction is basically when you, uh... Give me monies! That's about it. Other than that, man, you know? Either subscribe, donate, or get the fuck out. Yeah, wait till people find out that I'm buying the new iPhone this year. Uh oh. I'm buying the new iPhone 15 Pro Max because it's such a massive upgrade over the existing 14 Pro Max. Apple really is coming out with just innovative technology every single year. And it really warrants the uh, $1,500 price tag.
Yo, I'm Key. You say I'm a sheep, but how are you FaceTiming me last night, bro? If you don't also have an iPhone. Dude, I bet Violet Myers is the type of bitch to have a fucking android, though. Yikes. I know Ice Spice has a fucking android, which says a lot. Yeah, Violet Myers seems like the type of bitch to definitely have a fucking pop socket. You're right. Imagine having to ask Apple for permission to do anything with my phone. Yo, I'm gonna take a picture real quick. Oh, Apple didn't ask for my permission. What the fuck, dude? I didn't have to ask for permission to take a picture. What the fuck are you talking about? Uh, asking for permission, like... What the fuck are you looking to do on your phone? Like, turn it into a fucking super hacking machine? Like, uh, like what the fuck can you not do on your phone that Apple is preventing you from doing? What exactly are you missing on iPhone that you literally just start like dying to fucking do? Yeah, I withdraw my consent all the fucking time, but Apple doesn't listen, man. They don't care, they just keep going. And it just, it feels wrong, but also so right. Yeah, it's because the... Dude, the basic bitches have pop sockets because they have small hands. So the phone is too big for them to use and hold at the same time. So they have to have something to grab onto on the back. Remember, guys, look for chicks with small hands, a.k.a. they have a pop socket. Because then when they grab your dick, they'll be like, oh my god, it's huge. EDP just gets a fucking, uh, what are those things called? A backo or whatever the fuck? To, like, push the fat <laughs> from around the uh, bottom of a shaft backwards. Revealing a whopping four inches. What if the girl has small hands and she still thinks your dick is small? Then she ain't the one, man. If she doesn't say it's the perfect size, then she is not the one for you.
Remember, guys, if a girl ever tells you that your dick is the perfect size, it means that it's not that huge, but she really likes you. Despite you not having massive fucking man meat. So, it means she's a keeper, man. Zinemax drama was funny. He was mad because they fired him for not doing his job. Also, Gordon Flowers, so you support the current thing. That's right, man. Respect trans kids. Affirm trans rights. Stand with Ukraine. Black Lives Matter. Trans visibility is valid. Liar! Exactly, bro. I'm 5'11", so it doesn't matter. No girl will ever talk to me. I'm a manlet. So all a girl needs to do is tell a man that it's the perfect size, then he'll date her? Well, Brit, I would assume you're already dating them if, you know, you've already seen their dick, but... You go, girl. You know? Live that, uh, free love lifestyle. You know? Suck dick, ask questions later, right? I guess Brit's just used to the guy showing up without pants. disappeared from his alt account as well too now that everybody knows it's him he's hiding in shame Get it? Oh wait, I needed two more. Fuck. Now I'm gonna choke. Can I get the gun show? Yes. There we go. Alright, come on. Get that shit. Triple. Oh, fuck, the match ended. Downloading Baldur's Gay 3? Almost dropped the hundo on these bitches. Damn, 84 and 20. Or wait, yeah, 84 and 28. I read that right. Uh, 
E generation with a 20 react to if we have time. Potentially. I mean, probably speed it up a little bit. That probably would make it doable. I'll just do one more match and then we'll do videos. And Lord Pothead Investor with the five. I'm key was in that weird guy stream. Don't yup, he was. The fucking review tech X crack addict fan. Baldur's Gate three hired whole ass voice actors to do the moans in the game. They should have hired me, man. Oh, Wait, bruh. I could have been the little hentai slut. It's my true calling. Yeah, honestly, guys, if I went to vocal, like, classes or whatever they're called, I probably could be a top-tier voice actor. You know, I could be the go-to voice for the little anime girls getting raped by their older teachers. Like, that's really my dream role, man. It's what I've always wanted to amount to when I grow up. To be remembered for something beyond myself. Going sell some of my magic cards for Japan. Oh, are you selling your collection to fund your trip? Ah, uh, I mean, go ahead and do it if you want, but it's not really. Well, it's magic, actually. I'd probably uh, I would actually probably dump those. Magic: The Gathering, I think, is a dying game. There seems to be little to no value long term in magic products. Pokemon to the moon. King Samuel with the two. Remember, I was molested by I'm Key. Did it feel good, though? Did he know all the right spots? To really get your body to open up. Just asking for a friend. I would love to play Pokemon with Griffin's card collect. Oh, yeah, I bet you would, Brit. You conniving bitch. Trying to steal my Pokemans. I'll have you know, it's not just so simple as to see my cards. Not everyone's granted that privilege, I'll have you know. You have to go through a ruthless vetting process, pass three different background checks, and enter the decontamination chamber. Only then will you be transported to the premises where my cards are stored, and you may view them. Enemy 
What is your holy grail card? <laughs> My V card. <laughs> Can I get it for free? Um, no. Why would I give it to you for free? Bro, the woman repellent isn't where I know, man. I gotta be careful. I use Axe Body Spray. Hey man, I stopped using that when I was 13. Thank you very much. That was a short-lived phase. Yeah, I'm not wearing pants. I'm wearing shorts. Didn't you have one guy in your eBay begging for a card because he grew up with it? Yup. There's a lot of fucking weirdos. Like, oh, my son really wants this. It's his birthday coming up and I spent all my money because I got laid off from COVID. Could you please help me out and let me buy this card for $20 instead of 200? It would really mean the world to him. Yeah. You can buy it for 20 plus 180. You broke fucking bitch. You're broke! You're fucking poor! Yeah, that's how you know it's cap, bro, because no kid actually gives a fuck about graded cards. Like, they just want the card. They don't care if it's PSA 7, PSA 10, or fucking ungraded. They just want that specific card. When I was a kid, I didn't give a fuck about condition of cards. Well, dude, no one can be poor in my Minecraft world. It's a land of fucking infinite wealth. That's why I'm the only one that's allowed to live in it. I'm wondering when my next, like, Minecraft fucking kick is gonna kick in, because I kind of want to finish that world at some point, but... Opening sports card packs as a kid versus now is different, because back then you appreciated basically anything regardless of what it was. It was like, ooh, shiny. 
Yeah, I was the same way with Pokemon when I was a kid. Like, anything I would open up and I would get, like, a legendary Pokemon or, like, a starter or some shit like that, I was like, oh, damn, bro, that's cool. I'm going to put it in my binder. Nowadays, if I'm not, like, pulling some, like, $300 card, I'm like, fuck. But yeah, it's completely different when you're a kid. Like, anything that looks cool, you're like, oh shit, this is awesome. But then when you grow up, you're like, oh fuck, I spent $500 and got $60 worth of cards. I'm fucked. <laughs> like, it's a completely different perspective. I don't even open cards anymore. Like, it's just degen gambling at this point. Volley with the two. I have a Leafeon VMAX Alt Secret. 130 non-graded. Yeah, I bought one of those recently for 110 from my uh, local card shop and graded it, and it came back at 10. You should grade it, man. You can add $100 in value to it pretty much immediately. Yeah, like I have all my Ty Lee cards from uh, Avatar The Last Airbender uh, Weiss set. So, I've got the market squared away on the fucking, you know, Thirst Trap card from the Avatar Airbender set. Easy clap, dude. As long as there's fucking dorks collecting cards, they're gonna be thirsty for the fucking, you know, girl characters. When I go to the Pokemon tournament, going to pick up... Oh, are you going to uh, the uh, World Championship, man? No, what you need to pick up is the... Uh fucking uh, world championship deck new generation with the two buy me a 2014 catawice titan hollow the fuck is that I can't afford this shit. Hold on. catawice titan hollow that sounds like something gay it's a fucking sticker cringe why the f dude stickers in CSGO look like shit. Why do you even want that? Why do you even want that trash on your gun, bro? People with stickers on their guns in CSGO are fucking filthy degenerates. I see it's like 2400 or 24,000 shit. Ty Lee is a baddie. Well, dude, I got a deal for you. I have 71 Ty Lee cards here of her in a bikini. And for just $3 a piece, they can be yours. Thank you. 
Yeah, this is the card for those interested. You know, hit me up. I'm trying to sell bulk. But nah, I'm not selling them. This is the Ty Lee card. This shit's an easy fucking thirst trap, bro. Easy fucking thirst trap. The fucking weebs and little fucking, you know, girl, whatever, obsessors in TCG are gonna, like, fucking eat this shit up. I don't give a fuck what her age is, bro. It's a card that I can make money on. Who gives a shit? The fucking weebs and shit will eat that shit up. I don't give a fuck how young, old, ugly, attractive they think she is. Doesn't matter. If it makes dollars, it makes sense. I'm in the business of making money. Not, you know drawing a fucking moral line in the sand of what fucking degenerates buy from me when it comes to grading trading cards. Profiting off the brain dead lollycons. That's right, man. You got to extract their money so they can't use it to uh, rape kids. First up, man. Let's close the comments. Why is my front tab missing? There it is. Flashbang. Get fucking wrecked. First up, we got Juan's video. Yeah, Juan's turning into a eye siler when it comes to thirsting over his famous or like favorite female content creators. If I can fucking speak. But yeah, take this gum out of I gotta keep chewing gum, guys, so I get a chiseled jaw. So that way I can get the fucking Giga Chad chin. Hopefully. Alright. There it is. Mute. Cool. She's a gamer, dude? That's right, bro. Welcome back to another episode of Off the Clock. I have obviously played video games on the show before. I have played them very, very terribly, but it's usually been in my studio on the desktop. Not today. Today, we're going big. Today, I am playing three games, one of which I have played before. I have played Pac-Man before. I'm very bad at it, but we're gonna start with Frogger. I have no idea what this is. Do I just press start? This bad, I don't oh even my know. God, bro, she's playing games back when games were actually good the rules where am i so you're down at the bottom and you have, oh. to, you have to cross trap it oh oh god oh oh Ooh, that was bad okay all right oh oh 
Oh, what do I do now? Oh, I swam. Oh, I drowned. Bro, oh, what down. type of controller is that? I'm trying to see. It looks like one of those weird, like, 8 bit though controllers or whatever the fuck they're called. Oh, nope. Oh. Safe. What if these guys doing little, like, tap dances here? How do you get on them? Oh, I guess you just go. Yes! Oh! What happened? I made it! Your goal is to get the frogs into those black holes. Oh! At the top, so you have to kind of time it at the end. That's some fucking that was, bullshit, oh, yeah, that man. That was so smooth, too! Oh, man. That was, okay. That was embarrassing. I can do this. I can make it at least once. If I can't make it once, then that's really embarrassing. Oh, oh, uh, oh damn. Oh. What? How? What do you? What is? What am I supposed to do? What do I do? Oh, my God. Yeah, that's some I'm cheap shit, bro. This is back when video games were good, guys. Modern gaming could never. Oh, uh, no. Uh. Damn it. Oh, uh, what? Oh, oh! Did I make, did I, did I live? Where am I? Oh, now another frog has to go. I thought I like got a reward or something. Yes! I shouldn't say there's no reward here. Maybe this is very Gen Z of me. Like I want confetti or something. Yes! Okay, two more. Nope, that was bad. Ooh, ah, oh, no, my god! Oh, damn it! That's sad. Who are these people? Karen, John, Brittany, Alice, and George? Their scores are so much better than mine. Can I go into the next one now? I'm so bad at Pac Man. Where am I? Oh. Where am I? Oh. Oh! I don't remember. Am I eating them or are they eating me? Oh, that's not good, right? That's not good. That's not good. Oh, oh my god, bro, oh. I love this game. Oh. Oh. I remember putting my quarters into the machine points. and playing for I'm hours. I'm in my own little world over here. Where are you? And then Let my get dad you. would beat me. <laughs> yes! Oh! Oh! No! Oh. Uh, no! Why isn't it going down? This is not registering. Oh my god. Oh my god. It wasn't where I was doing it. There we go. I think the key is not holding it down. You just have to kind of... Oh, I forgot. It's my time. Oh no, they're all... Oh, I'm trapped. No! I waited too long. That was a bad idea. Oh no. Oh god. Oh no. What did I do? Oh no, 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 no. Bruh. Oh damn it. That was dab. Gave up. Oh, gotta go back for this guy. Up, up. Nope. Up. Down. Yes. Dude, my kids will never see me doing something as shameful as playing video games, guys. Come on now. Where are you? Come to me. You're too far away. I am. Oh no. Why can't I? Oh, oh, oh no, oh no. Okay, how do I get back to you? Yes. Yes. Man, I am so good. I'm on fire, guys. Oh, ah, ah, ah. oh, 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 oh. This is like a high-speed chase. I have no other orangey things. T Mike, turn! 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 There we go. Over. Up. Over. D get down! 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 I was, that was probably the best that I've ever done. I understand now why gamers freak out on their mics and they like throw things. Bro, I have never gotten the appeal of this fucking game, dude. This shit looks so fucking boring every single time I see someone play it.
Oh, wow, you really have to, like, hit every button. Ugh. Oh, God. Oh. I don't think I'm going to like this one. Why is it? Why am I? Oh. Ugh. I hate these noises. Can I jump over him? <laughs> this is even worse. What if I go there and do a jump? Go! What was that? I was on the ladder! What is that like Chinese lantern looking thing over there? Does that do anything for me? That's a hammer you can whack the barrels if you get it. Okay. Oh! Yeah, damn it! This is gonna be in my nightmare tonight. Oh, now look at me. Oh, nope. Oh, I don't. I can do this. Run. Uh oh. Uh oh. Oh no! Jump! Yes! Oh! Every time I do these, it's just like <laughs> Timothy Marco with the two tell RTU she's not using the proper joystick. And for the next 29 years, people will be making a big fucking deal of that fact. It's a skill that I don't have. And you know what? I will give it to gamers because this is a skill. Maybe it's a skill of <laughs> spending a lot of time for the doing next this and 29 learning it. years. Rich will hound her for not using the proper fucking joystick. It. I don't have the patience, but I will say it takes a lot more skill than I thought growing up. Because I was like, mm, why are you, like, you could be reading a book. Why are you doing this? It actually, it takes a lot of work. So that is what I've learned from doing all of these. Even yeah, the ones that are supposed to be. Yeah, that's definitely one of those 8 bit though controllers, or whatever the fuck they're called. Like simple. This isn't simple. And I actually think it's made harder by the fact that sometimes it just like doesn't even read on here, maybe because it's so old. Yeah, it's infuriating. If you have any other games you want me to try to play, drop them in the comments. We'll get to them eventually because you guys like seeing me act like your mother playing a video game. Before you go, make sure that you like this video if you have not already. Subscribe to this channel and ring that yeah, notification. Yeah, but Juan calls her mommy. Makes a lot of sense. He likes watching her act like his mother playing video games because he wants to call her mommy. There you go. That's why we're watching these videos, guys. It has been discovered. Oh, God. Ugh. Ugh. Yeah, I would actually expect him to own a bunch of uh, little dino toys. Either, either, either subscribe, donate, or Welcome get the fuck out. Zier with the 20 months. Oh my god, Griffin. She's so hot and she plays video games. That's literally the most sexy thing I know, man. <laughs> Sorry, I'm about to pass out from excitement. A girl that plays video games, dude. I wish I had a neck beard to stroke right now. I told you it was discriminatory. What did I say, guys? It discriminated against me for being a straight white male. Told you. Told you. If I was obese and trans, then I would get MVP in this game. So yeah, uh, welcome to Jurassic. 
Now, to the untrained eye, this looks like a midlife crisis. But it's actually a nervous breakdown, so I'm winning. Like I said, you generation, you having 30 MVPs proves my point. If I was obese and trans, I too would actually get MVP when I played. Thank you for just literally proving my point even more. That's just Godzilla. Copyright. We're talking about uh, Exo Primal today. And we're going to be talking about uh, various video game trends and how those trends can negatively impact a game, even if a game's really... Why is Jim Sterling wearing a fucking dog collar? What the fuck? Good. Exo Primal is a fantastic example. Exo Primal is like if Earth Defense Force tried to be Overwatch with dinosaurs and turned out far better than it had any right to be. And with that opening sentence, I have done more to successfully market Exo Primal than Capcom's own marketing. And I didn't need a budget of tens of millions of bucks to do it. I just needed to explain what Exo Primal actually is once you shove aside all of the things Exo Primal tries to look like. Game's brilliant, mate. It's deliciously stupid, immensely fun, and consistently rewarding. An online competitive co-op shooter slasher with a strong arcade style, Exo Primal sees two teams of mech suit wearing Exo Fighters blast their way through swarms of dinosaurs in a race to complete their objectives. Hordes of velociraptors swarm across the environment with single-minded hostility like the zombies from World War Z, Shit's while bigger beasts fire, like velociraptors, triceratopses, and carnotauruses toss players around like the dickheads they are. Stupid fucking dickhead. It's all very EDF, unless you're a melee character, in which it's all very Dynasty Warriors. And when one of your team temporarily controls their own huge dinosaur to harass the opposition, it's all very left for dead. But players pilot robots categorized by assault tank and support roles with unique fighting styles and cooldown abilities, so it's all very Overwatch. Basically, it's all very, very. It's a horde shooter by way of a hack and slash by way of a different horde shooter by way of a hero shooter. Sure, none of these individual components are new, but together they create a one-of-a-kind train wreck that I fucking love. But when I first started the game, I expected it to be complete shit, because that's exactly what it wanted me to think. It's a uniquely quirky game wearing the mask of a generic live service bandwagon humper. Well, actually, hmm. That might be uh, not really. I mean, if you never play it, then sure, I guess. But a simplification of what's going on. The game's generic elements aren't so much a mask as a skeleton that informs a mask. What I mean by that, and good lord, I hope this metaphor doesn't get away from me any more than it has, is that Exo Primal, for all that makes it unique, is built on a codified live service structure, following overdone, mediocre mainstream trends like it's an obligation. Which, let's face it, these days it more than likely is. Layered over this off-putting foundation of stereotypes, a delightfully unique game has been built, but it's hard to tell at first because it cuts such an uninspiring figure. Exo Primal is fresh meat on creaky old bones. There it is. We took the long fucking way round, but we arrived at a metaphor that works. Sort of. Now that I've truly put the anvil in preamble, let's examine the ways in which Exo Primal looks like a fuck and quacks like a fuck without being a fuck. Exo Primal didn't have a colitting chance. Not when it came to making a good first impression. For some fuck-forsaken reason, Capcom decided the best way to promote its creative car crash of conventional concepts was to emulate Evolve's embarrassing marketing strategy of detailing all the ways in which the game will pry open your wallet rather than all the ways in which it'll entertain you. I've talked about Exo Primal on social media and reviewed it on thegymquisition.com and among the responses I've seen... Uh, Z Herb with the five, why does Jim look like an over-the-top annoying anime villain in one of those weird ones that you see where... <laughs> Wait, when you see it, you question about why you're watching it. That was, like, always his fucking gimmick, even before the trans stuff. So, he's always been, like, basically, as I would like to describe it, autism personified. Scene have been people saying they were immediately turned off by how much the game's advertising pushed the additional paid content. As we shall learn through this video, that paid content is very much at the bedrock of this title's problem. Capcom's pushing of in-app purchases combined with the footage of dinosaurs being shot made the evolved comparisons inevitable. And, uh, you don't want that. This game is nothing like Evolve. Evolve, Take-Two's disastrous failure of a live service, famously advertised pre-order bonuses and premium content before we'd even seen the first screenshot of the game. It was like a disgusting parody of just how vulgar, desperate, and undignified a 2 if a video game could be. And the title itself, so stuffed with DLC it could hardly walk, collapsed in a humiliating heap with stunning swiftness. Basically, if you're making an online multiplayer game, Evolve is one of the absolute last bloody things you want your prospective audience to think about. That's the foot Exo Primal started off on. The first domino in a chain shaped like a freshly coiled turd. On its own, this may seem like a little thing, but let me tell you what I've come to consider a massive red flag in any new video game. Fucking console curses. Ever since Destiny popularized the concept and- Who fucking cares? Why it's popular, I do not fucking know. Online-focused live service games have insisted on replacing traditional button selection on console with a vagining cursor that's steered around with the analog stick. It's supposed to- 
Who gives a fuck, bruh? And you're like a mouse pointer, I guess, except it's slow, it's inaccurate, and it's quite frankly cuntish. I've seen it suggested that it's a corner cut for porting games to and from PC, and I'm not sure if that annoys me more or less, but either way, I'm fucking annoyed. Simply pressing up and down on the controller to select a menu option is like a billion times quicker than using it to drag a cock punching icon towards a shit crowning bot. See, Evolve was very fun for two fucking matches, and then after that, it was the most boring shit ever. Yet games insist on doing it now. Consequently, when a game pulls this bollocks, I inevitably think about Destiny. And I hate doing that because Destiny was fucking shit. Now, I'm a notorious critic of games inconveniencing their players, especially when it's for stupid, pointless, and or trendy reasons. I don't like having my time wasted. And compulsory console cursors are an egregious, awful, bloody, insulting disrespect of my time. Time I could be spending training up for my match against Kid Bandit in Leeds on August 26th. Oh my ass. When you think of the games that have done- Wait, what? The Last of Summer Brawl Commander Stephanie Sterling versus Kid Bandit. Well, that's going to be easy. All Jem has to do is sit on her. Spending training up for my match against Kid Bandit in Leeds on August 26th. Oh my ass. When you think of the games that have done the console cursor thing, Destiny, Anthem, Marvel's Avengers, and similar hackneyed live services, you see a pattern of trash that's hard to divorce from any game that follows suit, much less a game quite openly positioned to be one such persistently online experience. The moment I started dragging a cursor around on my PS5 version of Exo Primal, I couldn't help rolling my friggin' eyes. The warning signs don't stop there. Immediately, new players will find that there's only one gameplay mode, immediately bringing to mind one of the more distasteful trends in the market today the squirting out of blatantly unfinished feature-poor games just to start making money off them before actually finishing the things if the people who bought them are lucky. Far too many times have we seen games sold as complete products despite being released in glorified early access states with a roadmap of promised updates that aren't actually guaranteed to ever manifest. A live service roadmap is just a promise waiting to be broken. Now Exo Primal both subverts this situation and plays it straight. Its dino survival mode is a little more nuanced than first it seems, as it offers matches that lead either to PvP or PvE finales, the latter of which contain story missions that actually unlock new dinosaurs and alter the game a little going forward. It's an interesting concept, albeit a poorly handled one. The game's nonsensical story is awkwardly paced as a result of its random appearance. Shadow Evil with the five, the worst thing about your favorite GameCube games by Jeremy Klinger. It's a short. Also, I don't know why this game got so much shit. It's really, I don't know, dude. Honestly, like when I first saw this game, I thought, oh, this shit looks actually pretty fire. Like from the first gameplay I saw of this game, I thought it looked pretty good. But, you know, people hear live service and go, oh my god, live service, bad. And then they just start blindly hating on it. That's how this shit goes, unfortunately. Uh, who recommended this garbage? Take a wild guess. His name starts with a U and ends with Generation. Appearance in online matchups and PVE missions feature incredibly long cutscenes where nothing really happens and they cannot be skipped because Capcom assumes at least one player seeing it for the first time. Now, I've played a lot of Exo Primal, a lot. I've seen these cutscenes lengthy enough for unhurried toilet breaks about a dozen times a piece. It's a goddamn baffling way to deliver a story. It's interesting though, I'll give it that. I can see what Capcom was going for even if it doesn't work fantastically, but I wonder how many others would see it before writing Exo Primal off as just one game mode played over and over again without variation, since the game buries its content twists so well. So yeah, subversive. But also played straight because even despite this, Exo Primal still offers little in terms of variety and is stringing players along with the promise of more to come. In fact, I almost burst out laughing at the sheer triple anus of it all when I encountered and beat the final boss during Dino Survival and got rewarded with a brand new gameplay mode. Savage Gauntlet. A series of excitable pop-up windows talked to me through what sounded like a genuinely cool horde mode style experience before the final window dropped the fucking hammer and said it wasn't in the fucking game yet. Exo Primal was just cock teasing you. It's fucking funny, but it's also fucking typical. <laughs> I said triple anus. So, it's like three bum holes. Gimme, 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 gimme. You can have it back. You promise not to fire it at me again. I'm not gonna fire it at you again. Can I have my dinosaur's missile, please? Historically accurate missile. Thank you. Brilliant. There. Oh, shit. This vibrates. Yeah, it's going immediately on the cock. Ready? Hold on. Give me a second. Give me. Have a 
promise not to fire it at me. I'm not going to fire it at you again. Can I have my dinosaur's missile, please? Historically accurate missile. Thank you. Don't be scared of me, cause we're the same. You and me. Oh, shit. This vibrates. I have AUT. Alright, I just thought we would, uh, make that scene fitting. Our previous points all feed into Exoprimal's self-sabotaging presentation, but the foundation soaked into its progression and gameplay rewards really undermines this game's originality, and it's also thrown into sharp relief for me, a major issue with modern mainstream games overall. They've become so similarly structured that no matter how their actual gameplay might vary, the way these productions feel overall is becoming a near-identical experience. They may be different mechanically, but behaviorally, they're the same. Is this a bad time to admit that I find Nimbus kind of hot? No, that is a bad time to admit. I, I don't, actually, no. All the skins were caked up in this game, though. No, uh, it's just a robot. I mean, RC was a robot. She looked a bit like RC, and RC was hot. But no, 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 RC wasn't hot. It's just a robot. Robots aren't hot. Sorry, this is this is inappropriate. I shouldn't be talking about finding Nimbus hot in the middle of a video. I should be talking about finding Skyway hot in the middle of a video. Mmm, Robo Dummy Mummy. Didn't you show me a good time? Oh, I'll tell you what, Dead Eye's got a hell of an ass on him as well. One glance at Exoprimal's cosmetic rewards says it all. A range of unlockable skins for each character and their weapons, categorized by a rarity system containing common, uncommon, rare, and epic tiers. Common is the default skin, uncommons are simplistic recolors, rares are more lavish redecos with some texture changes, and epics are full-on alternate costumes. Sound familiar? You'll have seen it in about a dozen live service games if you've seen any given dozen live service games. Don't worry, there's another suite of less coveted but similarly obligatory cosmetics. We didn't forget those. Obviously there are emotes. You gotta have emotes, right? Fortnite has them, so this must have them. And what game would be complete these days without little dangly bits of shit that hang off your ass? It's classic. It's compulsory. And of course, you've got to stuff your game with utterly meaningless junk items in a contrived attempt to make the other stuff look more valuable and water down the reward pole. Overwatch's sprays are such good rewards, aren't they? I love sprays. Totally not filler at best and manipulative disappointments making players feel just shortchanged enough to keep playing for the endorphin rush of better rewards at worst. Ha <laughs> ha! Blizzard's a cunt! All that is to say, how about the decals? Oh, and stamps. You know, because fuck you. It's a cosmetic system blueprinted by the aforementioned Fortnite and Overwatch, followed faithfully by countless games since with only slight variations on the same basic content offerings. And hey, it works. You know, those epic skins do create an endorphin rush, and as someone who has argued for years that cosmetics do affect gameplay because they enhance your enjoyment of a game, I love unlocking new costumes, I do. But the fact all these games are doing it the exact same way now is just kind of sad, unimaginative. It feels soulless. It makes a whole game feel soulless. It makes Exoprimal feel soulless, even though it- Bruh. This game is absolute fucking fire. Like, oh my god, bro, you get skins and dances and sprays that don't actually affect the game. It's soulless. Like, what the fuck, dude? It literally isn't, and I resisted the title's charms for far longer than I might have done as a result. I mean, it's metaphorical charms, not the charms it sells as cosmetics. Of course, cosmetics lie at the heart of Exoprimal's shameless monetization by far its most repelling element. Capcom has draped this poor game in the familiar vestments of corporately mandated avarice, starting of course with the obligatory battle pass that has tastelessly insinuated itself into modern gaming. Thank you so fucking much, Fortnite, for popularizing that shady little scheme to where it's as saturated as I predicted it would be years ago. <laughs> Epic's a cunt! I detail Exoprimal's battle pass for you, but do I even need to? If you've seen one of these things, you've really seen them all. So many games have them now, and they are all literally the- The battle pass for this game is actually really fucking good though. The same goddamn crap. Premium cosmetics are spread throughout the rest of the cosmetics, forever tantalizing you with their offerings, though said offerings are admittedly crap in this game's case. Premium content is available in a bunch of packs, because of course they are, you gotta have packs, packs upon packs. How about the decals? Packs and decals and charms and packs and skins and decals and packs. And how about the decals and packs and weapon skins and skins and loot and rare and battle passes and epic and battle passes and packs and epic. How about the decals and packs and charms and weapon skins and skins and skins and skins and packs and decals and decals? Decals, how about the decals? Oh, I sounded a bit like that elephant at the end of Adventure Town. Jesus Christ, bro. How do you people actually, like, unironically sit through this shit? I'm just saying, I don't anymore. I don't. And, dude, the crazy thing is, is I have this shit sped up to 1.5. Like, if you listen to Jim Sterling talk at a normal speed, it's even fucking worse. It's horrible. 
Oh, and there's some fast track purchases too. You can buy early unlocks for a few of the exo suits with exclusive skins to boot. Oh, disclosure by the way, I impulsively bought the deluxe edition of this game because I am a whore. I mean, a consumer whore, but also just a regular type whore. Anyway, that's how I've got the battle pass and skins and that. You know, because I'm impulsive and I don't think through my purchases sometimes and I'm a whore. Oh, and here's the sweetest plum. Exo Primal has a loot boxes. Hooray. Exo Primal's sheer avalanche of add-ons is overwhelming to the point of alienation, and folks have told me it made them steer well clear of it. And I don't blame them. I mean, it looks immediately like a bunch of microtransaction-laden predatory pig wank, don't it? So much so that, despite how much I love playing this game, I had immediately disqualified it from consideration as a candidate for my Game of the Year rewards due I love how he bought the fucking battle pass, too, after just bitching about it for how many minutes? Literally, this is a battle pass item, I'm pretty sure. ...to my long-running stance against awarding games with microtransactions in them. But here's the thing. Despite this game's behavior, there are no microtransactions in Exo Primal. There's only one currency, Bitcoins, provided solely in-game and awarded at such a rate it ain't particularly grindy. The loot boxes? You don't pay for them. They're completely disconnected from purchasable cosmetics. I at least expected them to be several steps removed as part of a deceptive smokescreen like loot boxes are in Resident Evil Resistance. Yeah, I remember the shit Capcom pulled there but it's not pulling it here. They're not even given as rewards in the battle pass. I had to double check that because I couldn't believe it, but I don't see them listed. They're just given to the player as they level up normally. Exo Primal does such a good job of mimicking those exploitative ableist digital economies masquerading as video games that it itself was mistaken for one by this silly bitch who's been playing it to death. Now that does not make the monetization that does exist in Exo Primal okay. It might be better than its contemporaries, but better and good are two entirely different qualities. Battle passes are gross little concepts. The small mountain of cosmetic packs should embarrass any developer with a sense of shame. And I'm uncomfortable with the presence of loot boxes in games even if they aren't paid for, because the entire concept is just trouble. Plus, of course, any of the stuff that's in this game could get worse. Oh Publishers have proven time and time again that they're perfectly willing to hide. Imagine going through life and these are the fucking things you worry about, bro. This is fucking sad their fangs and bear them once they get a foot in the door. This monetization is tacky awful shite, but it feels worse than it actually is, because Exo Primal, as it does in so many ways, is doing such a good impersonation of the worst in the business. And that's this game's biggest problem, as it will be for so many more games in future, regardless of their actual quality or uniqueness. Because these titles are always built in a major way to tick boxes on the publisher's cynical spreadsheets, they're expected to do certain things, even if those things follow such overbearingly formulaic structures that they can take an original, inventive, worthwhile game and twist its appearance to resemble that of a mediocre also ran. Now it looks as if Exo Primal has kept its head above water despite being lashed to the anchor of live service checkboxes. So it doesn't look like it's turned people off to the point of being an immediate disaster like Evolve, Anthem, or Battleborn God rest that game's unfairly maligned soul. I hope this is the case, and if so, I hope it stays the case. I love Exo Primal. Like, I really love Exo Primal. And I think it's a shame I've seen so many people write it off as a mundane service game in a market stuffed to the brim with mundane service games. Who can blame them though? That's exactly how Exo Primal behaves in spite of what it really is. It's EDF Dynasty Warriors are left for dead over Watch World War Z. The fact it never occurred to Capcom to sell Exo Primal on that merit speaks to how truly fucked up this industry's become. Hi, do you live in Tut North? Are you gonna be bored this coming Sunday? Well... Oh my god... I'll be putting the udders in Huddersfield when I debut with Tidal Wrestling. That's this coming Sunday, sunny Huddersfield. Tidal One of these things is not like the other. I wonder which one doesn't fit. Hmm. Hmm. The wrestling. Come on, it'll be good. It'll be good. Simon Miller will be there. You like him? Yeah. So. That was today's episode on Exo Primal. I hope you liked it. I actually really enjoyed this episode. It's very similar to the Street Fighter VI one, uh, where I just got to talk about something I really liked, albeit, in this case, something I was very critical of. Now, obviously, games following the leader are nothing new. In the 90s, we had uh, you know, dozens and dozens of mascot platformers. In the 2000s, dozens and dozens of brown military shooters. But I think it's a little bit more noticeable here because but all those games, mechanically, were also sort of identical. Whereas a game like Exo Primal, mechanically, yeah, it cribs from a lot of other games, but it blends them in a way that's unique to itself. This isn't like the MMO craze, where everyone sort of ruined the genre. Yes, dude, I understand they're all fucking trans, but... Just look at the shapes. Look at the shape. I understand they're all fucking trans, but what I'm saying is one of these things does not look like the others. What is different? And there lies the answer. Sunday. 
Exo Primal. I hope you've liked it. I actually really enjoyed this episode. It's very similar to the Street Fighter 6 one, uh, where I just got to talk about something I really liked, albeit, in this case, something I was very critical of. Now, obviously, games following the leader are nothing new. In the 90s, we had, uh, you know, dozens and dozens of mascot platformers. All right, I don't give a fuck about this stupid conclusion. The worst thing about your favorite GameCube games. Super Mario Sunshine. Corona Mountain. It's such an anticlimactic end to the game, and the boat section might be the worst part of it. Smash Melee. Unlocking Mewtwo. Either 20 hours of versus gameplay or 700 matches. That shit was easy, bro. I didn't even think about it that way. <laughs> I just got Mewtwo from playing the game. I didn't even pay attention to how long I played it back in the day. <laughs> Zelda win Dude, anyone who unironically says Sheesh Deserves a fucking bullet in the back of their head Waker Too much water Spongebob battle for Bikini Bottom The Kelp Forest level The Mario parties Ended way too many friendships Sonic It did? Adventure 2 battle Meteor heard having that emerald hidden in a floating rock How am I supposed to find that? Mario Kart Double Dash The player sitting in the back gets to do nothing the Simpsons hit and run. Missions repeat way too much, and the out of car camera sucks. Kirby Air Ride, nothing. Animal Crossing, Tom Nook's a bully. Paper Mario the Thousand Year Door, too much reading. F Zero GX, killed the franchise. Pokemon XD, Gale of Darkness. Try buying a sealed copy. The worst thing about your favorite game. But yeah, that is true. The worst thing about XD is the price, because honestly, Pokemon XD is damn near perfect. All right, let's see. We'll do this before we get to... uh. Before we get to the uh, longer video, uh, which one was it? Yeah, this is a this shit's wild, bro. This shit's fucking wild. Makes no logical sense whatsoever, but that's how these people are. They're really dumb. All right, Lavinia has been spamming the stream chat, I shit you not, for an hour, okay? Moderators have warned her to not do it, and she kept doing it anyway. So now it's time to address the very important comment from Lavinia. You ready for this? Um, you want to address how you treated me like a dunce and replayed out your intro for me because I said exactly this to you about your mini PC. Well, we already addressed this. But I guess we'll do it again. So hold on a second, everyone. Let's have another special restarting of the podcast this morning, two days in a row for Lavinia, since she wants me to go back and readdress it. So here we go. Bruh. All right, we're not going to do that because that's wasting everyone's time. Oh, my God. But the God. point I just made is that today I have more information about the mini PC than I did yesterday. As you know, day over day, things change. That's called life. That's called gaining information and experience based on time and investment. And then you gain wisdom based on things you learn. From what I'm to understand, this PC is better than initially what I was told. Initially, I was told it wasn't so good. And then more people did research when I actually gave you the specs on it yesterday, or the full name of it yesterday, and said, no, actually, it's better than you thought. It's just under maybe the power of a Steam Deck, which is good. So I'm glad to, that that is better than I thought, all right? All right. Um, RG, listen to this. RG Beef says, you literally said yesterday AMD processors don't have cooling like Intel processors do. That's not true. That was 100% based on fa facts told me, or excuse me, information told me by viewers. Yeah, he did nothing okay. wrong, man. He did everything correct. And you have the right to dispute that and say that's not true. What I said was, if you have an AMD processor and an Intel processor and it's in a mini PC and there's no cooling, the AMD runs hotter. That's what I was told. But apparently this mini PC does have a fan. 
In which case, I guess that's great then, right? It has a fan, so that means it's going to cool it down. It's not going to matter, right? Oh, excuse me. Ooh. Yes, that is correct. A lot of the things that I say are hearsay based on what people tell me. You're right, because I'm one person and you are many. I don't have infinite time to sit here and research every single possible thing that I say about everything. I don't. I base it on things that I hear from you guys, things I, I read on social media or news stories and stuff. You know, do, Am I at Evo to know that the USB ports are melting? Should I have gone there, flown out there to confirm the reports, or could I just talk about it on my podcast today? Do you see? But you want to nitpick because you Should want to put your ass on like that plane, like Phil. Idiot, and I'm not. So enough of your bullshit. How about that? How about you hold me to the same human standards as every single other person who streams? And stop acting like I'm supposed to be an infallible human who knows everything. I don't. I base it off of input I get every day. In fact, you know what I'm saying? So people, when I first got this two days ago, people were sending me information. Hey, here's what I think. Here's what, you know. And I base what I talk about on my podcast based on what people are telling me. So then yesterday, some people were like, we don't think that information is correct. Can you give us the stats? So I did. I told you <clears throat> the actual stats on the box. Okay. People researched it overnight. And now came at me overnight and actually left me comments. They were like, no, actually, you don't even understand. That's actually way better than you think it is. You can play some 3D games and things on there. Again, not high setting. It should be fine. It shouldn't overheat. And I was like, oh, that's, that's good to know. Because now maybe I could consider doing things that I didn't, I wasn't thinking of doing, you know, with this new information. That's cool, right? But you have to understand I'm not going to be perfect. I'm not going to have. I just like, he literally, I don't know, dude. He literally banned this person for asking a question and then literally goes on a fucking rant answering the fucking question. It's like... Bruh. Ultimate <laughs> It's just insane, day. bro. Yesterday we had people coming into the last third of the podcast asking me questions about things we answered in the first third. And it was over and over. Like, well, so what, am I supposed to restart the show so to tell you everything I already told you in the first third of the show? Like... It's ridiculous. Again, no one else is held to these kind of crazy standards, and no one else gets this kind of criticism. Only Dark Side Phil, because people want to sit here in a toxic environment, all right? And they want to be rude to me on my own show, where I'm just trying to entertain you every day, acting like this is some kind of a fucking scientific show about PCs or something. It's not. So, sh newsflash, this isn't Linus Tech Tips. This isn't Digital Foundry. This is DSP Gaming. I'm a 41-year-old guy who has very limited knowledge about this stuff, and I'm just winging it every day. It's time to stop. I think this is funny because Phil used to brag about his PC knowledge back in the day. He used to talk about what an expert he was when it came to PC gaming. Being assholes, all right? Really. And if you want to live in that toxic asshole world, then stay off my streams because I don't want you here. I don't want people coming and spamming my streams, demanding things for a fucking hour from me. Yes, perhaps you could have thought that yesterday I was being rude to you, Lavinia, but literally you sat here in the chat, spammed my fucking podcast, demanding my attention during the time that wasn't even Q&A. Fuck off and get banned and don't come back. You're an obnoxious individual and we don't want your kind around here. We want people who are actually here to have a good time and be chill. So fuck off and kiss my ass. <laughs> Okay. Much better now, isn't it? Because now she's not spamming the chat anymore. Because, by the way, her name's not Lavinia. I know who that is. Oh, my God, bro. Shit's wild. The discussion we've been having, all right? So the discussion we've been having for the past couple of days is in regards to Mortal Kombat 1. Because Mortal Kombat 1 will not be cross-platform during the beta period, which takes place from the 18th to the 21st of this month. It also will not be cross-platform at launch. They're going to patch in cross-platform play later on, but it's not sure when. If I'm going to play Mortal Kombat 1, which I want to, and I want to play against the biggest amount of players that are you know, available and always have a good player base for it, i got to get it on the console that has the biggest player pool, and that's going to be PlayStation 5. So That's right. He has to, guys. It's not a choice. This is a requirement. He needs to play the game on PlayStation 5, even though the game will come with crossplay. That being said, I had to make a big decision. If I'm going to get it on PS5, am I going to invest in uh, you know, PlayStation Plus again to get, to get it so I can play online? Because you have to pay for the online play. Um, 
and my joystick, my old joystick. He had no other option, dude. It's almost a decade old at this point. It's something that I bought for the beta of Street Fighter V. So I feel bad for him, you know? I wouldn't want to be in his situation. How long ago that was, okay? Um, and I've used it for so many games over the years, uh, including Street Fighter V, Injustice 2, Mortal Kombat 10 and 11, and a bunch of retro Street Fighters. Oh, Tekken 7, by the way. And a bunch of retro Street Fighters, including games like the 30th Anniversary Collection and Capcom Fighting Collection. So I've played that joystick a lot. And I'll be honest, it's worn out. It's, it still works fine. Don't get me wrong, there's no buttons that are broken. But you can tell when you use the joystick, it's worn out. The buttons, you know, don't feel as good anymore. The joystick definitely feels like it's a little bit worn out and doesn't, doesn't not as good as a response as you would want from your, your competitive level controls. So, basically, we've been talking the past couple of days, what do I do? And there's two schools of thought. One school of thought is just save money and play it on Xbox, nobody cares. But the thing is, I've got a great response these last you know, a couple of months for Street Fighter 6. I really did. Like, people love the content. <laughs> is it insane record-breaking views? No. But the streams do well. People support the streams. And the videos on YouTube do okay. All right? So, I know when I play Mortal Kombat, for example, when I play through the story mode, people are going to love that. They absolutely love when I play the narrative parts of Mortal Kombat and exploring different characters, playing online. And if there is other single-player content, which we don't know yet, typically they would call it um, the Crypt. But they don't, there is no Crypt in this one, supposedly. They, they changed it. There's something else they've added that's not the Crypt, but it's different. So we don't know what the MK1 content is going to be at launch. But I want to cover it, and I want to cover it pretty extensively. I don't know if I'm going to adopt the game and play it a ton like I did with Street Fighter Six. I don't know. You know, Street Fighter is my forte. So he doesn't even know if he's going to adopt this game and play it frequently like he does with Street Fighter Six, but in anticipation of the game coming out with a beta, he decides to spend $350 on a brand new fight stick Rebuys Street Fighter 6 on PlayStation and gets PlayStation Plus. So essentially spends close to $500 to figure out whether or not he likes this game or not. And yet he has the audacity to the like sit there on stream and complain that his tips aren't high enough because he really needs that support. Has never been my forte, all right? But I want to play it at a good level, all right? So, you know, considering all factors and the fact that in the future we know Tekken 8's coming out, we know there's going to be other fighting games coming out, and really, PlayStation 5 is the premier console to play fighting games on right now. Like, for example, sales numbers for Xbox are abysmal for Street Fighter 6. Thankfully, Street Fighter 6 is cross-platform, so I've still been able to play against as many people as possible, but it's like 80% of the sales were all on PS5, and a very measly 15-20% to were on Xbox. So, that split is terrible. Now, imagine I could only play Xbox players in MK1 and there was no cross-platform. I'm basically shooting myself in the foot there, okay? So, we talked about this the last couple of days, and it's going to be a lot of money investment because i got to buy a new joystick, and we talked about the joystick options. We talked about the fact I have to rebuy certain games. I have to get PS Plus again. So we discussed all of this, and I said, hey, I would really appreciate it if, you know, I do go through, through excuse me, ooh, indigestion. Ooh, excuse me. If I do ooh. go through with this, I would appreciate it if I could get some support from the viewers who've been really enjoying the fighting game stuff and are looking forward to more future content in fighting games if you would support those streams because, man, it's going to be an expensive endeavor to do this upgrade, basically, so that I have the best situation for fighting games moving forward. All right? And I, I held off for a couple of days, and I was thinking about it. And <laughs> last night... He held off for a couple of days, guys. Good for him, you know. Great self-control. It was after dinner. I was sitting in the living room with my wife. My we're wife. We were digesting, and I was like, you know... Street Fighter's been really good to me right now. You know, it really has been. If you take a look, the last two and a half months of content I've been putting out Street Fighter 6, it's been really good. I'm doing well. You know, I'm leveling up in this game. It's to the point where I was thinking in my head, here's the thing. There's no carryover of your progress. When oh, you he definitely will end Fighter up 6. on the so street, example, man. Right now, I've been this YouTube gravy train is not going to fucking Blanc. last forever. My Honda, There's no one way. Day, is now at three star diamond. How I long it'll take, loop, nobody a, fucking a knows. Five star platinum Lily, who if I play another couple times, likely will be into Diamond, okay? So I've got some pretty decent range. But eventually something has Xbox. to give. But I'm thinking about it, and I'm like, it's not going to carry over if I play on PS5. But the thing is, all right, um, I am actually, for the first time in many years, and I mean this, for the first time in many years, I'm feeling comfortable in my skin playing Street Fighter. If you don't Ooh. know what that means, it means for the last... Ever since I've been a He's back to his real self, guys. He feels safe to play Street Fighter in his own skin. Thank God. Tuber, essentially, all right? The only fighting game I've ever felt comfortable playing, honestly, has been Super Turbo. Every other fighting game that I've played, um, especially the newer ones, Street Fighter 4, uh, any of the Mortal Kombat, the Injustices, Tekken, etc., I never really felt comfortable. I felt like I was just learning the basics. I was never and comfortable. I would play through the basics, put out 
videos that you guys would watch and I make some money on it, but I never really felt comfortable playing the games. I never really felt like I was learning them at the next level. Perfect example here would have been Tekken 7. I played Tekken 7 for what, like two and a half weeks? And after that, I told you what I felt like happened was I hit my skill cap, where unless I invested a lot more time into it, I wasn't going to learn anymore, so I dropped it. I just stopped playing it entirely, okay? Right now, with Street Fighter 6, this is the first time I actually feel like I have progressed past that wall of skill. I have learned further. I have advanced my game. I'm sitting there with a new character like Honda, and I'm destroying people all day and getting into the mid-level of diamond rankings on one session. That's pretty insane, all right? It is. <clears throat> so, that being said, and knowing that right now fighting games have been, are, be, are good to me right now. It's good content. It's good variety. It's doing well. I decided that I was going to do the investment yesterday. And so, basically what I did was a couple things. First thing I did... I ordered that joystick off of Amazon. It's coming this week. Um, it's the really good one for PS5. It's the one that has the highest grade Sanwa competitive parts in it. And it has a giant build. So basically it's meant to be like on your lap. It's going to stay super secure when you're playing. It's actually much bigger than the joystick I've been using on Xbox. It's wider and larger and heavier. It's supposed to be like super secure. <clears throat> so I got it. And it's coming later this week. Supposedly sometime on oh Tuesday. Boy. But they didn't confirm what time on Tuesday it's coming. Okay? In addition... I purchased Street Fighter 6 on the PlayStation 5, and I installed it. I purchased a one-year essential subscription to PlayStation Plus, all right? And I decided to do some testing, and the testing was very successful. What I found is that I could easily convert my Capcom ID over to the PS5, so therefore, <clears throat> my Capcom ID account and all of its settings are already working on my PS5, meaning shouldn't have any issue with pop-up messages or invites like we had on the Xbox. All that's already been turned off from the get-go, which is great. Um, you know, I, I actually, uh, yesterday, last night, before I did my late night stream of GTA 5, I played a handful of casual match games online on PS5 using my Hori Real RK Pro 4. That's the old joystick, the beat up one that's like almost 10 years old. All right. So here's the deal. I won every set that I played. I probably played four sets, probably two with Blanca, two with Honda. I won them all. Um, the controls are all right. They're not great. The, what I really didn't like was the joystick. That joystick on there is worn out. <laughs> So I'm trying to do motions and stuff, and it's like, oh. He's like, justifying so fucking hard spending money. Just say I wanted a new fighting stick. The streams have been doing well recently, so I thought it'd be a nice time to treat myself to a new fucking arcade stick or whatever the fuck. Instead, he has to come up with all these fucking excuses and justify it and shit. But this is exactly as probably what's running through his mind when he's blowing thousands of dollars on fucking WWE champions. This is the exact fucking justification he's telling himself as he spends his entire fucking income spinning for Hulk Hogan in a fucking American flag uh, G-string. Is he here with the five? Wait, I'm confused. So does MK1 have... Wait, C O S play or wait, cross play? Yeah, it does. So why would Xbox game sales matter as he could play with everyone? Because it doesn't have it in the beta. So he needs to play the beta on PlayStation because it's going to have the most players versus Xbox. That is literally his justification. Like I really, you know, I really have to go, oh, like really push it hard to get it to really react. It's not as good. That's as his fucking justification, um, man. It's fucking which crazy. I, need, I definitely need something new. The buttons are all right. The thing is the buttons feel loose. If I had the new buttons that I installed on the, the Xbox joystick, <clears throat> they have the right feeling to them because they're brand new. The ones over there, I mean, those are almost a decade old, so they do feel worn out. And I get the feeling that eventually they wouldn't be as responsive. They're feeling all right now. Like the few matches I played last night, they felt okay. But I'm, I'm definitely glad I ordered a new joystick. You're going to start a new setup. You're going to start fresh. You definitely want to start with everything at the ideal state, not, oh, you're using hand-me-down stuff from 10 years ago. So I will use that joystick until the new one shows up, and then when the new one shows up, then I'll start using that one. I'm excited to try it because it looks like it's a really highly rated, everyone loves that joystick. Even people playing tournaments love that joystick. So I'm excited for it. Um, So I, I played, and it, it seems smooth. It seems, and the game runs beautifully on the PS5. It seems to run pretty identically to Xbox Series X. I literally didn't notice any graphical differences between the two. They look the same to me. Um, so, and by the way, you might say, oh, well, what about sound? Because didn't you say the sound between the consoles is different? Yeah, but it's surround sound. There is no surround sound in fighting games. So well, in honor of DSP, guys, I just went ahead and paid my uh, utility bill, which was $199.46. And you know what's wonderful about being a uh, working adult? Is in order to pay that bill, 
I didn't have to sit on a fucking live stream and beg for money for hours just in order to make sure the payment fucking cleared. Isn't that nice? But yeah, just watching DSP, I remembered I had to fucking pay my water bill. So, yeah. The joys of not being a fucking mobile game addict. It doesn't matter. Like, it sounds the same to me on PS5 as it did on Xbox. Like, it sounds almost identical. So, that doesn't really affect me either. You know what I mean? Um, so, it looks good. And, uh, <clears throat> what I will do is, uh, starting Monday, when I play Street Fighter 6 and X, tomorrow night, when we do Community Night, I'll be playing it on PlayStation instead of Xbox. It won't affect anyone. Because it's the same system where you set up a private lobby, or, excuse me, a public lobby, but you password protect it. You just search for my account, DSP Gaming. It's still called DSP Gaming and all that. You should still be able to find it and join it. And we should have the exact same kind of night that we were doing before. We should be able to do tomorrow night. Okay? <clears throat> so... Uh, I think it's gonna go. It's gonna be interesting. All right, it's gonna be interesting moving forward with Street Fighter Six. And of course, now what I will do, I will absolutely pre-order Mortal Kombat One on PS Five. That's gonna give me access to the beta, not this coming weekend, but the weekend after. And so that weekend after, there will be uh, streams of the Mortal Kombat One beta. Um, what I'll probably do is maybe two days of it. Maybe I'll do like a Friday Saturday deal, but then Sunday will be my React Day or whatever, something like that. We'll see. I gotta figure out the exact dates of when they line up. I don't know which days of the week it is, but um, no, but yeah, like that should be fun to play all that stuff and uh and have a good time you know enjoying the beta and all of that um in fact taking a look i'm trying to he needs that fucking 350 dollar fight stick just to play the beta guys so you know hint hint make sure to tip thanks so my next day off is wednesday the 9th and then my next day off after that is the 18th so there you go so here so what i what i should do <clears throat> If it really is, I gotta look at the dates. I gotta figure out exactly what the dates oh, are. Oh yeah, speaking of days off, guys, I have to take days off from streaming because I have to go to a uh, cousin's wedding in like mid-September. I forgot about that. So technically, I'm gonna have a day off or two. Actually, I don't know how many days it's gonna be, but yeah, definitely uh, Friday and Saturday I will not be streaming. Tar, because I'd like to play the Mortal Kombat... The uh, 16th and 15th, I think it is. Yeah, the 15th and 16th, I think, is the day. Yeah. Stream the wedding? Uh, no. Yeah, a lot of people get married in September because it's, like, you know, not as hot as summer, but still nice outside. So, yeah, it's wedding season. Also, a lot of people want to be married before Christmas. I'm about one beta two days. But I can't do it the 18th because I'll be off the 18th. That's my day off. That's my After eight straight days of streaming, that's my first day off. So I could definitely do it all day the 19th. I could maybe do it half the day the 20th because there's re my React day. And then maybe, maybe if it is, because I thought they said the 18th to the 21st. I got to confirm this. If it really is four days, then I could do all day Saturday, half the day Sunday, half the day Monday. And that would be a good mix for the beta, I think. But... I would have to confirm that. I have to 100% check that out. Okay? If you guys have any any, any of the, the skinny details on it, I swear it said the 18th to the 21st, but I could be wrong. Maybe it's only the 18th to the 20th, in which case I can only play it Saturday, Sunday. Then so be it, right? But yeah, I will be getting the uh, the game on PlayStation 5 and playing the beta that weekend. Okay? With my new, my new joystick and everything. So... All right, so I made the investment, all right? Um, this week, starting Monday, it's PS5 version of, of uh, Street Fighter. Now, what does that mean for my rankings? It means they're all resetting, all right? But I'm not too worried. What I think I will do is... I asked your cousin. He said it was okay for me to come. Well, it's a she, so... Bruh. On Tuesday, the daytime stream is supposed to be ranked Street Fighter 6. We'll either do Honda or we'll do Blanca. You guys decide. And I'll take that character and I'll do new ranked placements on PS5. And we'll play through. Likely, I'll get placed in Diamond. And we'll just play and try to beat as many people as I can. And try to push forward and rank up as quickly as I can. You know, it might very well. might get halfway to Master anyway. Right? I guess we'll see. So, it'll be fun. It'll be a fun climb uh, back up. I don't think it's that big of a deal, honestly. It's not like, oh my god, this is years of co progress lost. This was basically like the whole, the whole, let's be honest. The whole first month of gameplay in Street Fighter 6 was just learning. It wasn't, like, serious gameplay. It was everyone trying to learn the game or whatever. Now I know the game way better than I did back in June. Now I'm parrying everything. I'm dash He's canceling. A pro. Combos. I'm doing everything good. You know, back then I didn't even understand half the mechanics of the game. So you get better over time. You improve, and the next thing you know, you know, you're, you can easily just kind of coast through these lower levels, and I think that, that'll probably be what I, what'll end up happening. So <clears throat> anyway, well, we'll see what happens this Tuesday, okay? All right, so I made the investment. Now what does that mean? 
it means, you know, hopefully fighting games will go really well. Hopefully fighting games will be in my rotation. Because a lot of people have been saying, well, what about Mortal Kombat 1? Are you are you planning on playing MK1 the same you're playing Street Fighter 6? I mean, no, not right now. I want to play the story. I want to try out characters, go online, and see what the, the other modes are. Am I planning on playing it as hardcore and as often as I have Street Fighter 6? No. Does this mean when MK1 comes out, I'm dropping Street Fighter 6? No. I will likely keep Street Fighter 6 in the rotation at least a couple nights a week, <clears throat> you know, just to keep playing and, and, and not getting rusty as I'm exploring the new fighting game. Now, I'm not going to be playing Street Fighter 6 nearly as much as I'm playing it now when MK1 is out. That'd be crazy, you see? But, um, yeah, that's that's my my plan. Uh, by the way, we got an imposter. Let me get rid of this guy. I'll get rid of the imposter. Don't worry. Get him out of here so that way he doesn't cause problems. Okay. Um, but, yeah, now... Don't worry, it's not, it doesn't mean that this channel is becoming overwhelming just fighting games. It's not. This fall, we got so many epic games coming out that I'll be covering for you guys that are not fighting games. You don't have to worry about oh, that. Oh, boy, but if you I like can't wait. Games, good news for you. But I will ask for a favor. If you oh, like fighting favor. games, if you're appreciative of the fact that I am putting in this effort. If you like fighting games and you're appreciative, here it comes. Effort and this investment into them to try to this make investment. the optimal experience for all of us we need to play them the and optimal experience for all of us that's right we're all in this shit together guys we all need to chip in and, and you know excel at them and for you to enjoy the content i put out please support the fighting game stream all right you know this is a huge investment that joystick alone was hundreds of dollars then <gasps> i rebought street fighter 6 i got the year of ps plus that's over a hundred dollars and then <gasps> moving forward i'm gonna get mk1 that's more and more and more okay so imagine being a 41 year old man and thinking a 300 hundred dollar fighting game stick and two video games is a huge investment. Holy fuck, man. Please support the fighting games because I just dropped a lot of money, all right? I'm not saying, hey, guys, come on the stream and dump a ginormous contribution. I'm not saying that. I'm just saying, hey, come to the fight. Dude, at age 41, I hope that 450 bucks or whatever he spent is, like, literally just, like, a uh, nice dinner with my wife. Like, Jesus Christ, imagine considering that to be a massive fucking investment. Fighting game streams, please watch, please support. If, you, if you're someone who watches the fighting game footage on demand after the fact, please consider supporting in some way besides ad revenue. Ad revenue on YouTube is so tiny, and even if you've watched every single one of my Street Fighter 6 videos, you know, does it help? Of course it does. But with this investment I'm making in it, hopefully you'll you'll consider maybe a tip or, uh, you know, super thanks on a video or something like that. That would be very, very, you know, nice of you to go above and beyond and thank you in advance to anyone who does support the fact that i just invested a ton into this okay <clears throat> so there we go um now one other topic to talk about before we all right man so let's see you generation we will do your other video What's up, guys? So consider joining our locals. If you like the fact that we catch predators nationwide, it's not possible without... Respect trans kids. Affirm trans rights. Stand with Ukraine. Black good, lives matter. Trans visibility you is nice valid. My name is Gordon. Yeah. Got some messages to Emily I need to talk to you about. Hello? Emily. Emily? Hmm? Uh, yeah. I just blocked her on Facebook. Okay. So, I just blocked right. her well, on Facebook. Okay. Well, would you? Hey, I just want to talk about it, homie. That's all. Okay. All right. Cool. I got it. He doesn't want anything to do with her, man. I wonder why he found out that Emily is actually a 30-year-old man. I got people with me for uh, safety reasons, because obviously we're rolling up on a tra trailer and shit. Um, they're, they're about to come with me right now, but we're, we're, you're not packing anything in your pockets. Deadly weapon. Other than this, ten um, inch long. You got the same bro. shorts I have, though. And, and we even we even brought cameras so you can be sure we're not coming on your property to hurt you, take anything from you or anything like that. That's why the yeah. cameras are there. Um, just so it's all yeah. recorded. I mean, we didn't do that. You're 11 years old. I can't sleep with you. Okay. Okay. So, I, I don't want her mom to maybe get mad at me or not. He sure, towers sure, sure. over she's him. I, told her I, I went coming in there, so I had a flat tire, so I got my excuse not going in there. And then she's unblocking me. So fine, go ahead. Block me. Okay. Okay. My killer cat. I know. Golly. Mm -hmm. Man. It's okay, baby. You go on inside. Huh? You go ahead inside. Got you got your pants finally? I don't know yet. Uh oh. Uh -oh. 
I'm gonna grab my overalls. Okay. Alright. She said I had His a package. His wife's like, not gonna be happy. <laughs> I guess she had the package. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So, obviously, like you said, Emily was. This is, I can't see anything with this is the Facebook messages here. Okay. Uh, we can kind of, uh, I can stand right here or yeah, I can, stand right yeah. That's why I was going to go down there and say. Oh, yeah, we can just do that. Yeah, that's fine. Well, you know, obviously it's voluntary to talk to us, but I think we probably should just clear everything up. You know yeah, I, mean? I wonder yeah. how tall he actually is. I don't want to get in trouble. Okay, okay. I, yeah, so I, she sent me a friend's request. I, I deleted her once, and then she sent it back to me mm -hmm. and stuff like that. And I was, started, I was trying to be a nice guy, but she said she wanted friends mm -hmm. and stuff like that. And she said she wanted me to take her from her. And I found out she was 11 years old, and I'm like, oh, shit. Well, I think oh, she said that at the beginning, though. Yeah. Okay. That's the second time, yeah. <laughs> okay. So just, oh, yeah. Well, I, I, we, I got my old lady here and stuff. So. Yeah. Okay, you know, I'm out here. So. God damn nosy asses. I don't know. I'm talking to these guys. How's it going? Good. The bitches be wildin'. Everything's okay. Got your house like a car full of Mexicans. <laughs> <laughs> no. You probably thought there was a bunch of car full of Mexicans, he said. <laughs> well, she said she said she was 11 at the beginning, you know? Yeah. Okay, so what kind of happened after that? talking to her and stuff. Sure. That's going on. Okay, okay. So. That's my work in a race car. Oh, you, is that what you do for work? Yeah. What do you do? Oh, I work at a welding shop. Okay. But you know how to work at race cars and shit. Yeah. Well, dude, you do. Good, good. That's fucking cool. Yeah. You like yeah, go, you go know to. Brady Short there, Mitchell. Mm -hmm. That's his car. And you worked on that? Yeah. That's fucking I've amazing. Been I've been in it for 25 years. Wow. On Friday nights, but we didn't race in this. He's in, he's in Florida right now. Okay. You know that trailer place in Mitchell? No. There's a trailer place there but where Briscoe's mobile homes used to be. Mm hmm. He, all them you, trailers you pull behind your car and stuff mm -hmm. like that, you haul stuff on, he owns that stuff. Oh, shit. Yeah. So you're part of his crew. Yeah. Nice. Yeah, luckily, my wife will never have to see me talking to Gordon other than in friendly passing and shaking his hand out of respect. That's amazing, dude. Cool as shit. Okay. So, um, I guess you guys are both in Bedford area? Yeah, I'm from here. Okay. I, I was born in Solomon, Indiana, but I moved to Bedford. And mm -hmm. Then my kids, we all went down to Kentucky. And we moved back up here. Okay. And stuff like that. And I moved up. Me and my ex split up, and it was all her family down there. And you know how hillbilly Jack is. Right, right, right. <laughs> I'm like, oh, I'm going back to Indiana. And I walked all the way back from that down there. Damn, I'm you walked. You the walked to Indiana? Yeah. And you still got a beer belly? You didn't lose any of the uh, weight? Yeah. Oh, well, I, I need to walk to Indiana, too. It's a lot of food. It's a lot of food. Yeah. yeah. I'm I trying to drink quick drink coke. That's a lot of food? No, I I'm think that's a lot of fat, bro. Absolutely, absolutely. So, where does Emily live? She said behind those apartments, behind over by the Legion. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. So I think I think at pretty early Emily was asked like you asked her to kind of hang out or something. Yeah. I okay. Wonder, she, I asked her if she wanted to go to racetrack with, with me and her and stuff like that. Okay. Because I was, I didn't want to take her with, without having somebody being around me. Okay. And so I think because my son goes with me all the time too. To the racetrack. He's, yeah, he's 17. He works on a race car too. Oh, nice. Okay. Do you have a cool, cool little family going on here? Yeah. Nice. Okay. So I mean, when. I'm in the process of getting my daughter back too. I really? don't want to get no trouble for none of this shit. Yeah, I don't, I don't want this to get in the way of anything. Yeah, I know. I've seen you guys fly around. Is that bird or junk in it? What? That's because of cameras and stuff. I didn't know. Because I, I, I didn't miss with anybody younger. I think there's a group that does something like that around Indiana, but it, that's not us. Yeah. She just blocked me a while ago on there because I told her I wasn't coming. Okay, okay. Stuff. I'm like, fine, see ya. Yeah, no. If, if, got, there's guys on there on her Facebook tells her they love her and stuff. Like right. That. They're about 60, 70 years old. Right, right. And you I'll know, they say, hey, she's 11 years old. People, I'm, I joke around with her and stuff like that, but I ain't gonna go have sex with her. Right, like That's you, right, you, you know, like those people are he like real bad far. ones. That's what I'm just talking to you. You know what I mean? So, um, Bruh. so when she was asked to hang out, um, you said, would you like to play? She said, yeah. Well, we play the cuddle. <laughs> and you asked, have you been with a guy yet? She said, no. And you said, so I'd be your first. And she said, well, yeah, we're at anywhere you want. <laughs> I was joking around with her about that shit. Okay. And you asked, you want me to pick you up? Can we make love? Is everything going? Is everything okay? Like with you and your wife right yeah, now? I've got some stress going on right now. Okay, so that's Money what wise. that's what it is. Yeah. Okay, so you kind of this was an escape in a way. Yeah. Okay. Just so I want someone to hang out with. Okay. Me and her get we get along just fine. But it's just text every damn night. Okay, but it's more like your life life's kind of beating you down a little bit. Okay. That's why I got so much gray hair, and I'm only 52. Right. Right. <laughs> Uh, you can't tell I got my hair no more because I shaved it all off. Mm -hmm. I've been trying to get them damn things going. Okay. Well, I kind of more understand this now. Like, I know you're not a bad dude or yeah. anything. Okay. Sorry, this is all, what do you He's mean? a good guy. Said, if you want. Okay. So you weren't forcing here to force anything. Okay. And she said, okay, I would love that. And you said. 
sent me pictures of her and her panties and stuff while, while ago. She did? Yeah. Okay. I deleted it off my phone. Okay. Was she ever asked to send like or anything? No, I asked, I asked if I could see her and stuff like that. And she said, okay. selfies? And I'm like, yeah. And she sent pictures of her face and stuff like that. Okay, and Paul. I said, you're cute. Are, are you sure you didn't ask to see like her or anything? I asked her a couple times. Okay. Okay. So. Got it. So, but, what were you planning on doing with those pics? I deleted them. I no, no, like it, I just want to look at them and delete them. If she if she sent you like a pic, like what would you have done with it? I just looked at it and deleted. Okay, that's fair. So, that's right, so when we have to go down. I never went seen her or nothing like that. You didn't try to go see her? No. no. She wanted me to come tonight. Okay. But like now. And I was gonna. Okay. Did you send? Me? She keeps saying I had a flat tire. Right, right. Did Did you send your? Uh, that's not your mind, though. Well, it's just, it's the same. Um, I know, but not not picture of my. I can tell you that right now. Dude, I really just don't get the attraction, like. I don't know, like, in a world where, like, 20-something-year-old chicks exist, why the fuck are you interested in a fucking 11-year-old, bro? Like, this is just so weird. You know, whatever happened to just cheating on your wife with, like, you know, some college-age chick that just wants your money? Like, why are these fucking D-Gens so common, man? Too damn little. It's just sad. Okay. But this was, like, too... <laughs> It was like two of the same bulge, kind of in different pictures. Yes. It's fucking sad, bro. <laughs> okay. I had so much stress and uh, uh, diabetes and stuff like that and, uh, mm -hmm. and stuff. And I didn't get a chance to have sex with her every night. I, I did take advantage of it. Okay. And stuff like that. So how is, how is life kind of stressing you out? Money-wise. Okay. So I'm more kind of understand why this is going on now, okay? Because I... I'm, I, I, I I told her I wasn't. I told her I says I, I got a flat tire, so I had my excuse not going. Mm -hmm. So I think if uh, you if you had money, you probably wouldn't be doing this. No. Okay. Okay. So I'm, I work my ass off, and I, I ain't got nothing to show for it. Really? I'm behind on my rent, and my landlord lives right there. How much is rent? Five hundred a month. How are you behind on it? I got car payments and stuff like that, and I travel all over the United you know, States. Oh, you tra you travel all over? Nice. Yeah, I, racing. They don't, they don't pay you well for that? No. What? They, I just do it for free. Oh, okay. You just like the experience. Yeah. Well, I mean, life's what me. It's this life, it's, man. It's one hundred and ten dollars to get in each night for me. My go, that's me, her, and my son. Okay. And, that, and I, he may go in and have fun with the race car. Do they, like do they at least let you in for free? No. No. I got to pay my way in. Oh, they used to pay my way in, uh -huh. and plus pay, gave me money. Wow. My son's getting my eyes again. <laughs> yeah. I got I got welding burns on my eyes. Okay. I'm okay. working welding shop. Got it. That's why I try to stay out of the sun so much. Mm -hmm. Mm hmm. So you're you're like you're not gay, but you're a in a way. I don't know what that means. Well, well kind of with welding and stuff like that. Yeah. Okay. So, um, you said show me your sweet <laughs> and um, she never did. Okay. So did you mean like a picture there or like an actual in person? Picture. A yeah. picture? Okay. Yeah. I don't, I don't want to meet her in person. Okay. So you asked her, what is your address? And she gave me that, that tonight and that's what she wanted me okay. to come over and in Bedford to see her. Well, this is her asking like in June right here. Yeah. Okay. So why why Saturday morning? Like I think the first time was Saturday morning. Then you asked again Saturday morning. That's when I'm, I'm always free. So, okay, got it. Makes so sense. Like and then evenings I I don't want to do anything. Even when I get home from work. Mm-hmm. So. Got it. So um, you know. five hundred bucks rent is a life changing sum of money, right? You're that's right, man. Literally, it could change your entire existence. No, then. You asked her to have to do three times a night, which I, I, I asked her how many times she can handle it. Okay, 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 okay. So, okay, you were just asking her that. She said many times you want to do it. Okay, so, so like you're 11 so, years old and you, and you, you know, got all these other guys asking her to meet them and stuff like that too. Right, right. And stuff like that, and I'm the only one that's close enough to her. And sure. That's why she wanted to meet. Okay. And she wanted me. To come, her mom's won't be home till tomorrow morning sometime, and she wanted me to come stay all night with her. Okay. Tonight, and I thought, no, nah, I can't do that. Okay, so. Sometime in June, I think you did go to her apartments. I went past there. Okay. And says so there's those apartments by the Legion. Cause my work's right down the road. Bruh. Okay. All right, but you but took you know, you know where um, Nfab is. Nfab. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All the welding shops. Mm -hmm. We bought the from Manchester Tank Building, and it's right there. Right. Cause I go over to the license branch a lot, and plus I'm over at DCS talking to him about my kid. Okay. My, my young. Oh, Got it. So, I mean, you, you took a picture at, um, I think, like se 7 o'clock in the morning or something like that. Yeah, I was out, outside. I was out, went drive by there and I was talking to some guy there I knew and stuff like that. I, oh, at the apartments? Yeah. Okay. I, my, my, my best friend used to live in those apartments. Really? He's in a wheelchair. I used to take him to races with me a lot too when he was younger. Okay. I, I teach him how to bowl. 
Okay. There ain't no bowling alley no more. That's what's wrong with it. Ain't nothing, nothing to do in this town. Right, yeah, it's becoming kind of well, desolate. The 11 year olds, oh. right, guys? <laughs> okay. So, you take a picture. Drink water real quick. Sure. My mouth dry. Coming back? Yeah, right here. All right. Oh, my mouth's getting dry talking. Mm -hmm. Yeah, no, absolutely. I'm trying, you see, I'm trying to drink, quit drinking Coke. Right. You see, I got pop cans over there. Mm -hmm. So you say you want to come to my house Saturday morning, we can do it, blah, 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 blah. I'm trying to do that when I got brothers living here with me. Right. <laughs> we'll be ready at Saturday morning. Then you say, what time will she be off Saturday morning? We can do it in your bed or mine or in my car, blah, 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 blah. Okay. So. I'm just joking around with it because I can't, I can't do that shit. Mm -hmm. My old lady, I, we all work together. Right. So this is her, this is you at the apartments at, um, at 7.03 a.m. And. Um, That's about the time I sent the picture, but I took the picture before then. Okay, so you were there like at six something? I don't know what time it was. Okay. I drove by there and then one of the guys I used to bowl with was living there. He walked past and I drove him at the end of the thing. Mm -hmm. And then at 721, you try to call her and say you up. And then at 9, 9, 9 a.m., two hours later, you say you're waiting. I was at work. Okay. But June 17th was a Saturday. Yeah, I work sometimes on Saturdays. Okay. But yeah, I work. I will go in when I want to, stuff so like that. Yeah. Hey, Paul, it's it's okay. We we were kind of looking at your car the whole time you were there. All right. You don't look. There's nobody around. I, I don't want to talk to you here, but I'm glad they're not around. It, it, it's it's okay. We're we're not mad at you, bro. It, we're okay. I I use the excuse of my having a flat tire, I'm not going over there. I know, but that was because they're all home right now. No, I, even though they went home, I wouldn't have been over there. Okay. But but you were waiting for two hours a few weeks ago for her. I'm uh, uh, I was at work. At my old lady's work. This is her apartments right yeah, here. I went in front of her apartment. I was taking the picture and stuff like that. Okay. Then, I, then, then I 20 left. minutes later, you called her. I was. Uh, yeah, so. Paul, we were watching you the whole time. Was you? Mm -hmm. I was there. For, <laughs> I don't know how long I was there. It was. It was over an hour, easily. I was sitting up there for that hour. Yeah. Oh I my I God. Then I went back to over to work. Mm-hmm. But you were you were waiting for her to wake up, and we saw you take out your phone, try to call her. We saw the look on your face when she wasn't picking up. We, we, we saw all so that. This so okay? sad, dude. Like. I'm not, I'm not like, yeah. I'm not, I'm not, since you, you know, that's why I'm talking to you. You told me there was like stress going on yeah. and stuff like that. It's not because you're a creep. You're not, I, I know you're not a creep. I've never okay? been with anybody that young. Right. So, right. I so, she asked me if I've ever been someone that young. I told her no. Okay. And here you say, and this was, this was like the day or two before um, you, you went over there. You say, are you ready to lose your? You see, yeah, why? And you say, well, show me the I want to be the first in you. I go slow and you give me your address. Yeah. I did okay. everything off there. Okay. That's fine. So, I'll so, go slow, bruh. Yeah, I don't think you got the athletic bill, bud. She sent me a note. I deleted her before, and then she sent me a friend's request again. She okay. She was crying because we didn't get to talk and stuff. So. Right. So it was kind of both both people at this. It wasn't just you kind of forcing yourself, anything yeah. like that. Okay. Yeah. So my, my, my question is, you know, obviously, you know, obviously the messages are the messages, and, you know, you say, lose your, lose your, you blocked me. I said, thank goodness. Yeah. Lose your, lose your, all that. But, yeah. like, when you were there on this, 17th my, I mean I'm not going to debate whether what you wanted to do because it, it's all in the messages yeah. but were you planning on like forcing yourself onto no. her okay were you I mean because you said I for, for say yes okay so, so you said I, in one I of the okay so you, so you said in one of the messages I want to have sex, but it's up to you yeah okay so were you planning on doing it if, if like we're leaving it up to her to do that stuff yeah okay that's that time I was talking to her about it and stuff like that then I, then I quit talking to her about it okay so so basically when you were there to meet on the 17th um I'm kind of glad she didn't wake up. And okay. Like okay. But but you would have had, but only if she's okay with it. You wouldn't. That's okay. right, man. Okay. I mean, obviously, if she withdrew her consent, our gentleman over here would have stopped. I didn't go tell my mom and nothing like that. Okay. Got it. So so you wouldn't have or anything like no. that. Okay. So basically, of course not. Okay. Man. So what is he, basically, a to put it frank, your would have only went in her that day, only if she gives you her permission for that. I, I won't do anything unless somebody says yes. Okay, so only if she said yes, that's how you would have done it. Is that right? Probably. Okay, okay. I, I'm Got sorry, it. Man. So, so, and all the. I like that mask he's got. Yeah, it's. <laughs> he saw the Confederate flag and he's like, "I got to fit in with you guys." <laughs> but uh, we got that on eBay, I think it was. Okay. So like that, my lady did. I mean, I'm right wing as shit, but isn't the Confederate flag like the I receive disability flag for most people? I, I don't know. A lot of people take it as racist. And I don't I, think it's I racist. Think it's it's, it's a flag. People, I know a bunch of black people 
likes it. Absolutely. What's it? What? Not from southern states, but still. If you really think about it, the Democrats are the real racists. Yeah, I bet they did. I was about to get them out of our country. Yeah. I mean, you see what they're doing to Clarence Thomas, who, like, no. he's a black Supreme Court justice who's like, yeah. So I went to my best friend's funeral. I used to bowl with Johnny Brashear. His funeral was Monday. And he's black, and I got more respect for him than I do anybody. Absolutely. And stuff like that, because he, he drilled a lot of my bowling balls when I used to bowl all the time. Because I went, went to pro once. You were, you were a pro bowler? I, I, could, I beat a bunch of pros before. Really? I have a 245. Oh, I shit. I did that for five years in a row. I, I just got bored. All right. In the bowling alley now, it's tore down. So you're hoping like you get spared tonight, or for a spare tonight maybe, or? I don't know. Well, bowling, bowling. Bowling? Yeah. I just held man that this man had two strikes. Okay. I never really. No, I think he was looking for a <laughs> age seven to ten split. <laughs> Damn, that was really cheesy. You did me spares. Okay. I'm going to win in Bedford. I've had back to back 300s. So. Yeah, back to you. So you rolled 300 in bowling. Yeah, I got it. I did it for 300. I set 79 of God damn. 79, 300. Damn, I, I mean, guns, and you were bro. even built like a bowling ball, too? I think you're just all about no, bowling. I, in this. I did, too. I did, too. My, my stepdad, when I was younger, uh -huh. he used to work at Thompson's Dairy. Yeah. He used to bring ice cream home every day, and that's when he rolled. Shit, okay. Then <laughs> that Coke the you up big time. Yep. Yep. She. Okay, so kind of back to Emily. So, so okay, so that gives me a piece I'm of mind. Okay, but it's just kind of you know because obviously we want your daughter back, right? Yeah. So we don't, you know, obviously if if they saw something like this, right, 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 right. I got you. But if they, if they, she's living with smoking dope with her. Okay. I'm trying to find DCS if they get they get help me do, and they gave me some lawyer to talk to and a bunch of other junk. Mm -hmm. I'm trying to get custody of that. So, so all this stuff about like you know, on your looking. You would have only done that if she gives like full permission for it. That's, I was joking around about that part. So it would have only been that, or? I was, I just wanted to go out and have fun, hang out with somebody. Man. Okay, I'll well, have fun. I mean, yeah, you, you you mentioned like you mentioned like the whole you mentioned stress going yeah. on. Okay. I'm, I'm stressed out like crazy. Okay. We're, we're so slow at work right now. Okay. And I'm stressed. I'm gonna get laid off. My son got laid off yesterday. Okay. So, so is that kind of why this has happened then? Yeah. Okay. Okay, got it. So you, you just needed some out, stress man. relief there or something. I was, she gives me plenty of stress relief. I just want to have someone to talk to mainly. But okay. I really, probably would never have sex with her, but I would want someone to talk to. You wanted someone to talk to, so you turned to an 11 year old girl, like, and then you literally just admitted you would have had sex with her if she would have allowed it. Like, the fuck? Okay. I joke. I, I joke around, but with people. Okay, but but Paul, when I know I, I know when I when you're waiting there, I want to your sweet. Baby. I have you in my arms kisses let me see your beautiful face like i'm, I'm not here to oh, debate you whether shit. you wanted to do it or not because i mean obviously you did because i now now that i know the reason for it is the stress okay yeah. I, I don't know if i would get in trouble for all this stuff well i mean you know we're, we're just here talking to you but um i'm lingering for a while until you sh until you tell me to put it in slow like i'm not going to oh debate you on God. whether that was going to happen or not I'm, I'm debating you on whether you were going to force it on her or whether she was okay she's not nighttime and she's not feeling good i won't i won't touch her okay so it was going to be the same she with said she's sick and stuff like that, so, all right, okay so so it was going to be the same with emily like this stuff would only happen if she gives you full permission for it that's the only way i do anything with anybody they say yes. okay okay so was emily an exception to that like would you have forced yourself on emily or no, okay never done that. okay so was your plan then just going over like yo i got a real question for you guys have you all ever met a girl named emily i've never met a girl named emily like, I'm thinking about that now. I have never met someone named Emily. You got the oh. pictures of her she sent me tonight? You okay. have? Mm -hmm. Interesting. Yep. Yep. Stuff. Okay. So, so is your plan on Emily only doing this if she gives full consent and permission for it? Yeah. I've yeah. never encountered I someone with the name Emily. I would have if she was 18. Well, you already did go to meet her. I, w I went over. You did not date someone named Emily, bro. Come on now. Everyone knows if you're watching this stream, you've never been in a relationship. Let's keep it a buck fifty. There, but I didn't stay. You I stayed for I, over an hour. We, we stayed an hour. I don't. I, I okay. Don't know, I don't know what time it was. <laughs> this is pretty long. You stayed, out, stayed out, out there, then, okay. then I went out there and sat, talked to that guy. Okay. And stuff like that. It was when I was walking out there. Okay. And I to him. Got it. So, so that's so, so that's the thing. Like, yeah, I mean, obviously this isn't doesn't make you look like an angel, but here you even say, I want that this weekend on my face i mean no, no, like none part. of this is a joke i mean this isn't like a i know i know you think serious well i'm not it's not about taking what happened to i'm key he's on his alt account called r kelly it's serious it's just you weren't joking when you said this i mean yeah. none of this there's no lol here there's not 
there's not anything. You said set it for 6 a.m. You have an amazing day. Like, Paul, I'm not concerned about whether you want to do this or not, because obviously you do. That's why I'm here talking to you. It, it's about, it's about, would you have done this only if she gives permission? Me. Okay. I'm not, I'm not going to lie about it. I, was, I, I do need a stress release and stuff like that. But okay. I, I probably would never really done anything with her. I probably wouldn't talk to her. That'd be it. Paul. But like tonight. I'm not talking about tonight. I'm talking about the last few weeks. I'm talking about when you when you showed up there. I know I showed up there that one morning. Okay. I thought she wanted to go out, and hang out, and stuff. She wanted to go do something. Paul. I was gonna take her to breakfast that morning. Paul. I know I was. You, you were talking about going into her bed and doing stuff with her. Okay. You said, "Are we gonna do it in my in my car or in your bedroom?" And she said she wanted to go <laughs> in the car. Okay. Stuff like that. Okay. So so that that's that's my thing. I mean, you said in the beginning, I'm leaving it up to you. I mean, all this stuff. Were you gonna? Were you fully going to just leave it up to her to do? Yeah. Okay. Because I'm not going to force myself on her. Okay. And stuff like that. She's a cute little girl and stuff like that. Okay. That's why I told her she's beautiful. Okay. So so you think she's cute. You just need some stress relief. So that's why this happens. Because I'm, I'm just trying to get figure out why it happened. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So. Okay. So, so the only situation where you would actually do the stuff in here is if she, like, she has to tell you it's okay is what you're yeah. saying? Okay. I, I won't force myself on Okay. Nobody. So what if you're in person with her and she says, I don't want to do this? I'll leave. Okay. So you you would have only done said stuff if she's wanting to or stuff like that? Okay. I appreciate that. Appreciate your honesty. Yeah. Okay. So so how many times did, um, what were you planning on this being? Like, truly? Like, you said, I hope your mom doesn't find out, blah, 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 blah. Like, like, she, she told me not to tell her mom what she told me to today. So I said, I won't tell nobody. You don't tell anybody. Okay. So like that. And, I, was, I told her I was on my way to town. I was in there, sitting down there on the couch and stuff like that. And I took, sent a picture of her. I was sitting in my car. I was out here working on my lawnmower. About to get out of the car, took a picture. I was sweating like a poor church. But mm -hmm. you, you know, I was sweating out here too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, absolutely. <laughs> but Paul, I, I know there's a thing that um, yeah. they're not supposed to send, yeah. and you kept asking for for, okay. for like right. You were asking for so you can go over there. Okay. Like Paul. Uh -oh. Paul. Paul, you, you don't have to, like, none of us here are judging you. None of us here are judging you about anything, okay? Like, yeah, it's sick. So I got this right here. Oh, is that for 9 11? Yeah. Wow. <laughs> Guys <laughs> doing it. Set, plus, be, plus be more stuff there, plus be windows in it. Net, uh, Big Daddy that owns. Hold on. Let's check out this beauty, man. Oh, is that for 9 11? Yeah. Oh my god. And look at the two devils up there too. Like, bruh. Oh my god. <laughs> well, they can use that as a target for back shots in the prison shower. <laughs> oh. Oh my god, they can aim their back shots at the Twin Towers. Wow. Not finished though, though. <laughs> Guys doing it. Set, plus, be, plus be, uh, more stuff there, plus be windows in it. Net, uh, Big Daddy that owns Big Daddy's tattoos. He said he's going to redo it for me because his other guy did. We, my ex-wife used to babysit their kids, and he did it for free. Damn, okay. The other one, you know, there was Craven College. There used to be a tattoo up on the square. Mm -hmm. He did the top two things, and... and Big Daddy did that right there. That's my daughter's name. My oldest one. Big She's Daddy. 20. Okay. And stuff. And then that right there, Kevin College, I think, did that. And this right here is a free one. That's Brady Short, his race car number. <laughs> I had that done a long time ago. Nice. More of them. I want to get my other two kids' names on me. Nice. My son, he's, his name's Zachary, but I want to get his kid Zach. That's all we call him, Zach. <laughs> like a little asshole. He got laid off yesterday from work. Damn, okay. And so now I'm trying to figure out how we're going to do because we were all splitting bills up between all three of us, and now this is me and her, and it's going to be hard. Got it. My bill's been killing me. What, what does she do for work? She works at a soap shop. Okay, right? okay. And stuff like that. He used to work in the finish room, but he, they, were, they only make $10 an hour, and that's not worth it. Sure, yeah. I mean, minimum wage, I was told, went up. How Will with the two, a shank has hit the second tower. More like... Bro, here comes a big hot load of PlayStation 5s. Oh, man, it's so thick. How much do you make an hour? I make 17. That's not bad. Bruh. Effort, but still, it's not hard to survive when you got $100 car payment every week. Every week? Yeah. Damn. Damn. Serious, you anything. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> that place is, 
if you miss, if you're out there Friday to pay it, they're they're coming and knocking on your door Saturday morning. Jeez. And not they put a club on your card until you come pay it. That's ridiculous. That's yeah, that's crazy. So we're trying, we're trying to clean this place up. How many acres do you have? Just that fence right there. This is a weird property from that fence right there, that pole to the couple of trees up that way. Okay. It's a diangle. We were trying to clean that off right there, but guys said, no, oh, don't clean out. It's for deer hunting and stuff like that. You ain't shooting no damn deers right here towards my trailer. Right, 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 right. So, so, there's all kinds of deers running around out there. Okay. So, so, so you were asking Emily for tonight, weren't you? Like, I was asking show her. me. Your yeah, before he gets raped in the shower, somebody's going to come up behind him, slap him on the ass and whisper in his ear and be like, hey, boy, I heard you like him 11. Well, here comes 11 inches. Bruh. You're in the shower. Show me you're in the shower. Okay. All right. Got in it. In the shower? So, so, I mean, I, I, uh oh. She didn't send it. Right. Right. See, I'll show you in person what she told me. Okay. So, obviously, you know, and I feel like I can talk to you about this because you're not like the people on her page. Yeah. So, you know, obviously, you know, the news to verify that they're real so you can go over there and whatever. Like, I mean, I know how this works. Yeah, but I'm going to prove that there's a real person. Okay. She called me and talked to me. Okay. Like that. Was that not enough proof? Did you need it for proof still? I, I just wanted something to see, to look at. Okay. I'll admit to that. I wanted something to look at. Okay. So, okay. She didn't do it. And I said, fine. Okay. So that was also kind of an escape or something? Probably. I just like looking at pictures. Okay. Would you have gone if she sent the. No. Okay. I, I know that I wouldn't, because I wouldn't go and go. <laughs> I, I told her I was coming. I told, I, okay. I've been sitting here in the driveway the whole time. I so, with her. so, what's going on at 7 a.m.? So, you say, are you alone at 7 a.m. on Saturdays? I am sometimes. Okay. So when you went over there that Saturday, you were alone? I was, we were going to go eat breakfast. I told her I'd take her. No, everyone knows if you drop the soap, you just squat. Just squat, bro. Just don't bend over, duh. The breakfast and so like that, and then we'd do whatever she wanted to do. Okay. So you were leaving this stuff up to her that Saturday? Okay. Yeah. So you would have only participated in said stuff that y'all talked about only if she wanted to do it? Okay, well, I, I respect that. Okay, so, Paul, I, I got to ask, like, did y'all talk on Telegram at all or anything like that? Just only on Facebook. Only on Facebook, yeah. okay. Do you have Telegram? No. no. did you ever have Telegram? I had Google and uh, straight, uh, um, whatever that name. Like, you send you either straight Google Talk and then the uh, WhatsApp. But she's never sent me anything on those. It was the only time we ever talked on Facebook. Okay, so, okay. Got it. So I, I gotta ask I Paul. Got old... It is really funny too, because all these pedos think kids actually still use fucking Facebook. Women send me pictures all the damn time. <laughs> yeah. I look at That's one of the leave. funniest okay. things. The only thing they ask for is getting stem cards. Uh, getting sim cards? Stems. Stems. What's that? It's a card. It's like Amazon cards and stuff like that. They get money on. Oh, okay. Did I, you ever I, get? I work hard for money. I ain't gonna send them damn things. I got scammed out forty-five hundred dollars before. How? The girl was talking to my daughter and talking to me. I figured she was real, so I sent her a bunch of money. You sent her forty-five hundred dollars altogether. From what? Within within about six months altogether. When was this? Dog. Holy shit. Five years ago. Okay. And That's meanwhile, fine. you're no. behind on payments for a five hundred dollar rent with I, three I people. Okay. I was, okay. I was living down over in Bedford somewhere. In the apartments? Yeah. Okay. I lived in the, my best friend lived in the apartments where she lives at. He's one in a wheelchair. That's uh -huh. what I used to teach. My brother even knows he has. Yeah, yeah, yeah. For sure. Okay, but so. He want to make sure because there's big guys out here and I'm like. <laughs> yeah, for sure. Mm -hmm. So I, I got to ask Paul. I mean, you, you know, obviously you talk about your daughter wanting to get her back and stuff. Yeah. Um, you know, there's obviously. I know it's bad things for doing talk. Damn, bro. He got fucking baited by a fucking pedo honeypot for 4500 That's wild, bro. That's actually fucking crazy. Talking to her. Well, no, I know. But, like, there's obviously more to address than Emily with that. I mean, it's a bunch of all mine shit in the first place. Yeah. Like, I'm, I'm getting ready to delete Facebook. What, for my, ki my kids being on Facebook, I wouldn't have it. I know. I know. So, I, so, know so, I ain't got minutes on my phone. Okay. See, I, only time I get is my internet here. That's sister. I'm sorry, I'd like to text my sister real quick. She wanted me to... That's... I got that one. She's going to pick my brother up tomorrow morning. My sister is. Okay. She just lives right over here. That's great. Um, so, okay, so, Paul, like... Yeah, in the morning. Okay. So, so when did this online shit kind of start for you with this type of stuff? Just, that's probably about the first one. Uh, no. 
because we were on the other end of some of the other accounts. I thought they were older girls. You thought they were older? Yeah. Okay. Well, how, how many ended up telling you they were younger? There's two girls. One was 15 down in, in the Madison, Indiana. Madison, Indiana. Okay. Yeah. How, how far is that from here? About two and a half hours drive, I think. Okay. Uh, she wanted me to come down there and get her and stuff like that, and I, I told her my car broke down on me. Okay. I was, I was living in Bedford at the time. I didn't even go down there. She was in Madison? Okay. Yeah. And what about, the, what about the other one? What about the other one? I can't remember. I know I had Emily and there was that girl there. I'm trying to think. Yeah, you said there was two, or unless you were talking about Emily, but... Emily and then there's that one girl down in Madison. Okay. That's the only thing I think of. Most of the other ones I've been about 18. Okay. And so like, that. like I said, I got, I got girls sending me pictures all the time. Of Can you get the uh, pickles? Sure. Starving. <laughs> and hungry. I got the other bottle of water there. Oh, all right. Sorry. I've been eating. I've been eating Roman noodles. Ro Roman noodles? Yeah. So spaghetti or no, what? Just the, Noodles like oh, ramen noodles. Yeah, ramen noodles. Oh, okay. That's why I've been eating, I'm trying to lose weight. I lost a little bit since then. You're trying to lose weight by eating ramen noodles? Dear God. Yeah. Oh, my fucking God, man. Intelligence does not run in this family. All right, cool. Yeah. Oh, I'm tired. I about went to bed a little bit. Really? And then she said, you got a package out here? And I'm like, what? Yeah, yeah. I didn't order anything. Golly. All right. So that cheese pizza, man. A girl in uh, Madison, Indiana. Um, similar shit with Emily, just kind of talking probably yeah. inappropriately. Yeah. This is a little bit. She, she sent me pictures of Those ramen noodles are probably why he's so fucking round, dude. Because all that sodium is going to make you retain water like a fucking balloon. Oh, shit. Okay. I think. Okay. Yeah, like, what's probably girls wanting to do this type of stuff? A lot of them just wants cards, money. Okay. Did she want cards and money? She asked me to send her a card. Really? And stuff like that. And, but they mostly want me to send them, like, $100 STEM card. STEM, S-T-E-A-M cards. Mm. And, like, Amazon cards. Oh, like st that. STEAM and, cards? Yeah. They, they get stuff online with them. Stuff like that. <laughs> like a, I Bro. You generation, is this you, man? Are you scamming pedophiles for fucking Steam cards so you can open more cases? Oh my god, bro. Are you fucking shitting me? Sent the other girl, I gave her all kinds of money. I went to Walmart sending money to her because I thought she was real. She said she was talking. My daughter even talked to her. How old was that girl? She's 27. Okay. Well, I thought she was real and stuff. Then I come find out she was a star. So we're at. I seen her in a movie. I'm like, what the do you get do you get like any government money at all? Mm -hmm. No. Any of your relatives do in there? My brother trying to get disability. Okay. So That's why he's staying with me because he was in an the apartment there in Bedford. Oh, okay. And he got kicked out of there because they he he's been waiting for 15 months now. And he said next thing to go in front of a judge. Damn. Okay. And so that's coming up pretty soon, I hope. And then he yeah. It's like yeah. My, it's like have my place back together. Hopefully the judge rules in rules in his favor of him taking our tax money for um, not he, working. He, this is all that, uh, money he. It in. It's, it's early, like early retirement. Oh, he's like already 60 something? He's or? 58. Okay, that makes sense. So, um. He's got a metal plate here from the bad wreck he was in. He, mm -hmm. he had two head, surgery, head, head traumas, but he had the lifeline to Indianapolis. Yeah. And then he's got artificial hip. God damn. So he's, he deserves to have the money. Okay. So I, I'll, I'll probably work till I die, though. Do you have like any teeth at all? No, I got busted in, in a bad wreck. Okay, so if he has an artificial hip, you must have had a lot of artificial sweetener. Um, no. I was, no. I was in a bad wreck. I got hit by a semi back in the <laughs> <laughs> Bad wreck, okay. We were up there, you know, we're 50 and 60 junction units yep. in urine. Mm -hmm. We were pulling in my boss's driveway, and the semi hit, slid 150 feet before he hit, still hit, flipped us bum over. Dude, I had dude. A box coming in my face. Wow. God, do you really talk fast, and I always have stories, huh? <laughs> it was hurt. Yeah, yeah. I think instead of, like, buying used cars, you should probably just start selling them. I mean, honestly. I yeah. I ain't got that. I ain't that good at sales. I think you would be. I, I think you would be. It. But, um, okay. So, so this this girl in Madison, in, this girl in Madison, Indiana. I mean, she said she. You said she sent her pi she, she, pictures. I mean, was she sending like? She sent me pictures of her bikini. Of her bikini. Her bikini and stuff like that. But she wanted me to come down there and pick her up, and bring her back down to Bedford with me and stuff like that. And I told her I'll be down there, but I never went. Was she talking about sleeping with you too? She wanted me to come sleep with her. Okay. She said she's already had a few times. I mean, he's a hot commodity, man. What woman would not want him in her bed? Okay. And stuff like that, and her boyfriend hit her. 
So, so, so my guess is you probably participated in that conversation too, the same way with Emily, just kind of saying some shit you shouldn't have said. I just talked to her and stuff like that, and she asked me to come down and get her. And okay. I told her, yeah, I'll come down there, but I didn't go. But did you also tell her, like, yeah, I'll have sex with you, baby, shit like that? I just talked to her. So, so you were more sexual with the 11-year-old than the 15-year-old? No. I, was, I was joking. I, was, I know I was talking... Well, no, 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 but I'm, I'm saying, I'm saying, like, <laughs> I'm saying, I mean, this has been 15 year olds a couple years ago. Okay, but, uh, but, uh, so she, she was. Yeah, dude, it sucks, man. Maybe if I was 11 years old, somebody would want me, but not if I'm five foot 11. Shit sucks, bro. I'm the wrong variation of 11, it seems. Sending you messages. Yeah. Did you send some back to her? I just said I would like to have. Some okay. Stuff. Okay, that's what I was asking. Okay. We never said anything and stuff like that. Okay. Did your daughter know about that 15 year old girl? No, none of my kids know. Okay. So. Got it. So nobody, is your. Nobody sees my phone but me. Okay. And stuff. Okay. Good. Just, she said she's going to block me. I said, good. See ya. Okay. So, I mean, what about Emily? Um, you know, you talk about her. Talk about, yeah, I want your sweet. All this type of crap. Like, how. how at the time, how was that, like, enticing in a way? I'm just asking, like, how is that? I've I never been with was that was that poor? I didn't lose my until I was 21. Okay, so you kind of uh, the idea of being with a was kind of was it exciting to you in a way? I was hoping she'd been older, but older, but you can't find that. Right? Yeah, no, definitely not nowadays. So, so, so you were so that, that's was kind of what the entire the interesting thing was about this. Yeah. Okay. I know I went over that one day and so that was, so I went to meet her. I have okay. crypto I money. Happened, that's though. news to me, so, man. Would you have, again left it up to her? Yeah. Okay. I'm but you know, obviously, you know, money. putting two to get two together here, like she's a, virgin, you want to, you, you always want to be with a, virgin, like it, it all makes sense now. I, I understand what you're saying. Um, okay, so you said, would you like to play? Yeah, we we'll play. Blah 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 blah. <laughs> okay, so 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 it wasn't because okay, okay. So, so it wasn't because she was 11. It was because she was a. Virgin. Yeah. Okay, got it. So because I never, you can't find that. Right. Only time I ever had is one girl. Was, and she was 20, 23 years old until mm -hmm. she was a church girl. Oh. And I was give her a lot of respect. I didn't want to. I wanted to wait until she got, we got married before we had. Right, right. That sounds like Brit. I didn't like I said. I was, that was my twenty-first birthday before I had my with a married woman. Okay. Wow. Nice. Good shit. So you asked Emily, <laughs> you can move in with me. That's when she turns eighteen. When she turns eighteen. Yeah. Okay. You're gonna wait seven years. So you you were actually wanting her to move in eventually, just not now. No. Right now I got this one in here and stuff like that. Okay. She's a good girl. I don't know why I was, I was being stupid talking to her. Okay. I know I was being stupid talking to her. Okay. But I'm glad, glad she blocked me. So a little wake-up call for you? Yeah. Okay. This right here is wake-up call for Yeah, yeah. You so you say here, will you please let me see your tonight? She said they, she said they small, and you said I love small I and more than mouthfuls of weights anyways. I don't like people who have big ass Okay. She's got pretty good size, but she's, she's starting to gain her weight back, so like that. And that's when they get big. She's got two, had two kids, but her mom's got them. Okay. She got, she got in luck. We drowned wrong people and so that got on drugs. But since, since she's been with me for over a year, she's not done anything. Mm -hmm. so I don't allow drugs around because the girl, the girl I used to live with, she had drugs in the apartment. And I got busted for it. Really? I'm 52 years old. Never did drugs in my life. Nice. A K9 nice. cop, Jeremy Bridges, is there in Bedford. He says, I know you don't do drugs, but I wasn't the first one here, so. Uh, the first cop here when they did, they found there's a little trace of stuff in the in the baggie. That's the only thing I got busted for. Wow. And like, you take me a drug, go drug test me. I don't care. Please take me a drug test. They wouldn't do it. My probation officer, he heard everything I said to him. Mm -hmm. <laughs> he says, yeah, they should give you a drug test. Okay. So, what what is it about you and asking for just shower pictures from her? Like, yeah, a lot of times you guys show me your It's in a shower. Okay. Yeah, I like I like seeing people in showers. I go in there and talk to her when she's in the shower. Okay, so that's just kind of a turn on for you in a way? Okay. That's yeah, the way the light hits the water, hell yeah. Long time. But yeah. I'm, I can relay, bro. Glad I'm getting this stuff out of my head and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. I've been so stressed out. Yeah, it's, I think that's mainly what it is. I'm stressed about money and I'm stressed about all kinds of other stuff. We we're about ready to get, if I don't get my rent caught up by the end of this month, we get kicked out of here. So yeah. I, last week I paid a big ass light bill and that's $780. Cause they get, I didn't get my light bill for three months here. Oh, okay. And then I, finally, when I finally got it, we stalled and split, had split up three months, 471, 471, 350. Did, did, you, did you ever think, like, during the course of this conversation, like, what I the f 
Come on, do it. Doing? Stupid. Okay, got it. I know I was being stupid. All right. I admit to that part. I was being stupid. Okay. So, you, you know, Paul, um, we got to, and I know you never sent your actual pics to her, um, but the, that. right, but the, the, the underwear pictures are obviously you because, you know, I, I can tell you because we can obviously see where the pictures came from. Okay. Like we can click on them, see where it got sent from. And we can also, oh, oh I'm I sorry. Got, I got bad back when I, when I had that semi wreck. Mm -hmm. It fucked my back up. Oh, I'm so I sorry. <laughs> Listen to you. <laughs> I get back spasms every once in a while. That's why I gotta sit down sometimes. Yeah, that makes sense. So, I mean. I got lawn chairs all over the So I'm out here, I'm mowing. Like I had that thing going a while ago and then it died on me again. Mm -hmm. I took it to work with one of the guys that looked, looked at it for a little bit, so I'm going to take it to the shop tomorrow. All right. So right here we have, um, I mean, obviously this is this, you, you, you know, I'm not like a meat washer, but this is, right, there. right, but this is the this is the same size piece right here, and and there's the same cabinet in each photo here, yeah. and this also came from your thing, because, you know. Yeah, I, I can say, you know, I tell people I may have a big one, but I don't. Okay, but. So anybody so, lies, lies about it, then they're lying about it, so like that. Bruh. Oh my god, <laughs> this is so fucking cringe. They want to brag about it. Okay, so this is yours right here. Yeah. Okay. So why'd you lie yeah, about it at first? Say it wasn't. I said it's mine and stuff like that. No, you, you said, said my, this is. You I said this mine ain't that big though. I have. Stuff, I have <laughs> you had a sock in here when you yeah. took. You, you took your picture with a sock. Yeah, I can show you right now. <laughs> <laughs> Wait. So so you didn't send her a, a small sock in there. Like, that's what tried to make it look bigger and that makes the girls happy. Okay, so you, you didn't send your. Pick. You sent a sock pick. Yeah. Okay. Got it. Yeah. Wow. All right. Um, <laughs> Listen to it. <laughs> all right. I know uh, I got. It. I ain't gonna lie about it. <laughs> you really stuffed your pants with a sock yeah. to impress an 11-year-old. Uh, that picture gets sent to a couple other people, older women, for stuff like that. They ask for my sick picture, and so I send them that picture. I had that picture on my phone for a long time. Okay, I but but you but you, 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 you <laughs> but you sent a, a picture of stuffed pants to impress an eleven-year-old. I mean, you, 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 you know how weird that kind of like. Okay. Yeah. Oh my god. Wow. Um, <laughs> that's so bizarre. Yeah, I don't know. That's stupid. Yeah. I'm into, I'm, I'm Holy shit. Yeah. So I, I mean, now I have a peace of mind though a that this wasn't because she was sock. eleven. Dog, that is weak. That's the first time I've ever heard of that shit. Just because she was a yeah. okay. So you so you, so you were just out to take a or have a you weren't out to go have sex with kids, right? Okay. I was, I was hoping she was been older than what she was. Right. I was hoping. But okay. I, I guess I deleted her off there before, and so and all of a sudden she sent. Uh, okay. About a month later, she sent me another thing. Saying, okay. I was crying. Got it. Like got it. Okay. So so her age wasn't the prize here. It was her virgin. Pretty yeah. much. Okay. Okay. So, so that's why I wanted. I've never been in with any. Okay. I think 21 is the youngest I've ever been. With. Okay. So, so that's why you. I was monopsis younger. So, so you wanted like because she was not because she of her age. Yeah. Is that right? Okay. Yeah. Okay. Got it. So, um, what are you doing? Me? You said kiss. Where at? And lips in your sweet. And then here you say if if you let me. Yeah. Okay. So that would have been her decision too. Yeah. Okay. So. Yeah, I, mean, I, won't, I won't force myself on nobody. Well, I, I appreciate that. Yeah. All right. Um, He's getting hot. <laughs> He's yeah, we're getting bitten up by mosquitoes here. I know that's why. I'm, that's why I would. I don't. You know, I, I don't want you to come on to me um, tonight. I ain't gonna come on nobody. Well, I mean, if mosquitoes are biting me, it's gonna look like I have a bunch of small. So I mean, like, you know, I just gotta, just gotta make sure. All right. Oh. <laughs> All right. Have you ever on a before? He asked. How are you getting out Saturday? Where are you telling your mom you're going? Um, then you say, Will you try it with me? So again, you're asking, just asking her this. Yeah. Okay. We can do it in your bed or mine or my car. Okay. So would it would basically would that also be her in her court ball? Well, her, had, they already deployed the fried pickles. You've never so. had your. No. So you've had, but you haven't had your. You're not missing out. <laughs> You're not missing out. Nah. Yeah, we, we do it to each other all the time, and oh, it's yeah. it, it yeah, sucks. Boy, Vey. Well, uh, you see, there's a thing called a. Uh, well, that's a whole other conversation, isn't it? I had a friend's pass the other day from this one person. It was, it was like a beautiful woman. I uh -huh. that was a guy. I like sleep. <laughs> I'm like, no way, Jose. Wait, was it like a Miss Mag or? It's some kind of trans thing. What's called? <laughs> Lady oh. Maga. Had and everything. I mean, had 
like this. Was it was it was it one of those uh was it one of those <laughs> love, no was it was it one of those shows like Dylan Mulvaney or was it one of those real American women like yeah Blair White yeah. This, this one's pretty as hell and stuff like that. And I come find out it's a guy. I'm like I deleted it. Okay. I'm like I ain't gay. But you know how you know, you understand how transphobic that could be to the to the to Donald Trump, right? Because Donald Trump says Caitlyn Jenner can go into any bathroom that he, or I'm sorry, that she wants to. <laughs> yeah, Trump is so based, isn't he? I, isn't he, Paul? He, he, Paul? Trump's a great guy. I quit following politics. No, I agree. And he, tr tr remember, no, they, wait, this government's here anymore. I don't want. To I agree. Well, did you take the Trump vaccine or did you take the Biden vaccine? I took Biden. You took the Biden vaccine. I got, that COVID shit. Yeah. I got all, I got all four shots. I did because work was telling us to do it. Oh, okay. Because they had a letter saying they were going to make us do it, and I just didn't want to pay no damn fine. They made you take four shots? Yes, I just went ahead and take all four shots because they said you can't get on a plane either because I want to go to Hawaii. And oh. you got to get on a plane, you got to have to show them proof of their COVID shit, what they said. You got to be vaccinated to go to Hawaii? I mean, you get on a plane, I think. Mm -hmm. When you go out to different countries and shit. You literally gave you're literally giving you. <laughs> when you go like, to different yeah, like countries. Hell when they did. Well, yeah, but maybe sick a little bit. You got to get the shot in order to go to different countries. Goes to fucking Hawaii. Wait, gave me the shot. But how are you going to go to Hawaii when you're behind on a $500 rent? That's, that's, that's a long time ago. Oh, okay. One of my, one of my good friends in Bowling Alley, he owns a house over there. Oh, in Hawaii? He told me if I ever want to go over there, I got, I got a place to stay. Oh, well, nice. I just pay for the flight. Nice. Stuff, and I, ain't found, I ain't seen him for a couple of years. So you, so, you took the, so you took the Biden vaccine, not the Trump vaccine? No. Okay. Because work told us. Got it. They told us now we get laid off. I'm like, oh, I'm going to Walmart real quick and got it done for free. Absolutely, absolutely. I ain't losing my job. Yeah. I don't like pie. Damn, I just wish you would have taken the I'm Trump vaccine. Facebook tonight. Got it. So, um. I, think I talked to my daughter and stuff like that on there. That's the only bad thing about it. I just deleted mm -hmm. about 90% of people off my friends list. It says I got 350 some people on there, but my list only got like 20 people on it. Yeah. Why well, is your list a lot of like younger, younger than 18? I don't even know. How old they are. Okay. My best friend, Brady, he ain't got a Facebook no more because he got in trouble one night at racetrack because some girl came and seen him and his wife showed up at the same time. Oh, shit. So he, he ain't got a Facebook, but yeah. him, his wife, and all of them down in Florida are heading back up here. Do the pickles deliver here? Yeah. Okay. Dude, I was going to say, um, what was I going to say? I don't know how long this is going to be because I'm about to go to bed pretty soon. No, that's facts, dude. Um, what was I going to say? Um, oh, if you want pizza and stuff like that, they won't deliver out here. Right. Did you? Did your? Did your? Did your wife like? Why, why does she have the kids? My ex-wife. Yeah. When we were down in Kentucky, we split up. She ain't got none of the kids either. Her, mm -hmm. My my daughter, she's 20. She lives with her boyfriend. My son's in there in the bedroom, playing his Xbox like he always does. <laughs> uh, I try to get him to come out here and help in the yard and stuff like that, but the Xbox is more important than anything. Right. Then my other. The average Xbox owner, guys. Gaming. These are the type of people enjoying Hi-Fi Rush. Daughter, she lives down in Tennessee with her aunt. Did, did anybody like ever try to accuse you of doing something no. in person? No. No. They've never like accused. They, yeah, like, when we split up, I, I didn't have nowhere to be at down there, and my kids were yeah. all down there, and so I walked back up here from Kentucky. Okay, but so I'm saying, I'm saying, did, did I didn't have nowhere to live up here? Did, I like mean, did your ex like ever accuse you of anything with the daughters at all? No. No. Okay. So my daughters, poor brats, they got whatever they, they got. I cooked for them every night, and the only thing I didn't do is she had to give them baths. Cause I would not give them baths. Got it. And I ain't my son. I wouldn't give him baths. Got it. But I come, I worked all day long, come home and cook, and, and her mom got this at her for it. Mm -hmm. Cause I was cooking and cleaning and stuff like that. But she. Oh yeah, dude, couch. I love high okay. fire rush. And she got mad and she took off, took, went to Louisville with some guy. Right. And then I was down there with my kids, and it's all her family and. I didn't have nowhere to stay. Got it. So, so I come back up here. So you said this 15-year-old in Madison was two years ago? Yeah. Okay. I believe so. Okay. Yes, yeah, so I was living in Ted Jones Drive at that time. Yeah. So in so in this uh, so in the span of two years, I mean, how how many other accounts have like hit you up saying like, hey, I'm younger, hey, I'm younger, like. A lot of times I can't remember shit sometimes. Right, but if you if you can remember, because obviously the stuff the stuff sent to Emily was pretty like you know it's pretty it was, it was a lot for just you know a quote unquote first or second time. Yeah, I started talking to her and stuff like that. Yeah, but, but I'm, I'm, I just like having friends. Yeah, right, but I'm, but I'm saying like have any have any have you had friends online that have just been younger? No, just that 15 year old and her. Okay. The rest of them's been over 18. Okay. Has has there been anybody online like, I mean, do you watch?
Not very much. Not very much. When you like, how often? When I was living alone, I watched it a lot. Okay. What what, what was you like? What did you typically watch? What did you watch? A B. Yeah. <laughs> That's just. A certain doesn't matter. Okay. Like I mean, did you think any of the you watch maybe caused some of this to be sad? Probably. Okay. Was any of the like probably too young to to look at? No, they were, everyone's over eighteen. And everyone everything. was over eighteen. Yeah. Was there like even one or two times where they sent you something under eighteen? No, I wasn't. I didn't look at it. Cause everything, I was all my stuff free, free. Right. 18 and plus. Right. No, no, I'm not saying if you looked at it, but has anybody ever sent that to you before? No. No? Okay. Yeah, I mean, this definitely isn't like a... I'm kind of glad she bleeded me. Cause... Yeah, this isn't, this isn't a good thing. No. I mean, what, what do you think? I mean, what do you think What do you think wifey's going to say? Or fiance, sorry. Just not girlfriend. Yeah. How did y'all meet each other? We thought before, and then... Last year I saw her walking, I gave her a ride and stuff like that, and then we've been together since. And then she really? gave me a ride. Talking to her. I've been talking to her for a little bit and stuff like that, Emily, but I wish I never did stop start talking to her. Mm -hmm. Well, we got to, I mean, I think we should probably tell her, like, just kind of give her, fill, fill her in on what's kind of happening here. Just, you know, I'm not going to try to fuck you, but um, yeah. I think just tell her, like, hey, could this kind of happen? You should probably work on this in the relationship. You know what I mean? And she's it. She was on the couch, or sitting in a chair next to me, and I talked to Emily before, but she didn't. She don't look at my phone. All right. Well, let's. That's the one thing we don't look at each other's phones. All right. Well, just so there's some honesty going on. Should, yeah. let's, let's, you mind bringing her out here? Yeah. All right. Oh my God. Paul kind of got himself in a situation here, um, where there is an 11 year old girl that he was messaging online, and he tried to go over a couple weeks ago to have sex with her. And um, <laughs> then tonight he was uh, talking about doing it, but I didn't go anywhere. he didn't go tonight. But he asked, was asking for photos from her and all that type of stuff. And, um, you know, this has been going on for a little bit. I mean, he was asking for lots of to this girl and all this shit. But, yeah, I mean, you know, obviously you guys have to sort out your own issues. But I think that. Um, we'll sit down and talk about it. Yeah, but. but Classy. I think that, you know, especially because the girl's 11 years old and stuff like that, I think it's just a, way too young to even be, you know, in a gray area with, you know what I mean? I, I, we don't talk to each other on Facebook anymore. No we blocked each other. Yeah, but this was like 30 minutes ago. It was longer than 30 minutes. You've been here for over 30. Okay. Well, like an hour ago. I mean, it was, it was tonight, you know what yeah. I mean? And basically the whole the whole week he was, this past week he was saying, you ready for your to be, to be taken, blah, 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 to, to this girl. And, um... Yeah, it's just not a good situation at all. And I think, you know. They're waking me up to come out here and talk to me. Right. And I think for, for full, full on honesty, I think, you know, you should know about this. And you know, she even knows I've been stressed out lately, too, ain't it? Yeah. So, um, this was all on Facebook, so I don't know what y'all want to deal with I'm, with that, but. If she wants me to delete Facebook, I'll delete Facebook. Do you? That's up to you. She doesn't even give a fuck. Yeah, just definitely not a good, because it's one thing to be unfaithful, but it's also another thing to be unfaithful with, High I don't know, class, a fifth grader. Man. Well, I guess going into sixth grade now, it is summer after all, but um, a fifth grader. So. Well, buddy. He's been getting beat up by other cats. I know. He's a stray cat around here. Oh, he is a stray cat? Yeah. Well. He's friendly as hell, though. <laughs> so you invited a fictional small pussy over to stay with you, but not a real small pussy. Okay, that's how it works. All right. Well, he's really adorable. Did you give him a name yet? That's going great. Yeah. Can't call him Smokey because we already got a cat named Smokey. Name Smokey. Yeah, she's a cute little shit. Aw. Got it. Well, I mean, yeah, I just thought you should probably know about this. We'll, we'll never sit down and talk about it. Absolutely. Absolutely. I'm going to do but delete. I deleted a bunch of people off there while I'll go and stuff like that because I don't want to, nothing if I'm done with it. I heard on Facebook while we're at work. Hmm. So I, can't, I ain't done it for two weeks because the only time I get on Facebook is when I'm at home. Right. Because I get the internet here.
Yeah, and he waited like over an hour one Saturday. I guess when he's alone on Saturday or something like that, he waited an hour alone just to kind of for to come out of the apartments. So yeah, man, um, the fried pickles are taking a while to get here. I think it's just kind of something that, and I, I guess he stuffs his, uh, puts his sock in his pants sometimes and sends That's it out to people. Anyway. It's an old picture. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, if it, me yeah, like if it's not a sock, then I would say you're a lucky lady. But if he's <laughs> what he's saying, it is it is a sock. Um, yeah, I'm really. <laughs> yeah, I'm really really sorry that happened. Um, Do you ever like take a lawnmower too? Like to sell them? No, work on. To, to work on? I mean, you can start in your own lawn here, but. No. I just wanted to mow, get my lower space so I can mow my grass. Oh. The last time I did, I used to weed year on it. So now you want to mow something other than an 11 year old. That, that's funny. Um, okay. So with these, I don't know. Work, like, I mean, they if you. Stay running, that's what I was wondering. Okay. I mean, someone, someone knows oh what my God. Do. I mean, do you, may, you should probably make some billboards and just advertise. Place in the league. I think she said like, she looked it up. Okay. I mean, did you like, did you end up fixing these yourself the or? The middle one was given to you? I bought that. Yeah, he's yeah. just trying to stall, bro. Yeah. Fingers in there. They broke off on it. Got it. And this right here, me and her, she bought it at the flea market two weeks ago. Yeah. Uh, I've never and seen anyone try to run when the pickles show right up. up no one dies. I mean, the guy at work, he looked at today and stuff like that. It was a little bit, and I, just, then I got it going again, and that's all we mowed. She was going to mow a little bit, and she liked doing exercise. Maybe you can put a sock in it to get it working. I don't know. But, yeah, I just thought you should probably probably know about what's, what's going on, because, you know, obviously, if there's a, you know, shit that f***ing happens between the two of you. Oh, what the f***? Who in the shit? Call Jesus Christ. Did you call the cops? No, no I guess you didn't. Okay. You did. Probably, yeah. No, I didn't oh, call God. shit. I mean, I was here the whole time. Dog, look at that side pro. Hold on. Look at this side profile, dude. Yeah. I mean, I was here the whole time. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> bro, what? It looks like she's trying to do that Michael Jackson shit. Bro, what the fuck? Oh my god. It's like the leaning tower of pizza, bro. Like, <laughs> what the fuck? So we should just be honest about it. We'll figure it out. They sent three fucking cop cars? Damn. How's it going? There's there's kind of a situation here. Um, Paul, Paul was just talking to somebody. Yeah, I was talking to somebody. I was probably a little bit too young, right? Yeah. You know, like 11, young. Okay. We delete each other, block each other. Thank okay. You. But you unfortunately went over there to have what you shouldn't have done, right? Yeah. Okay. I, we didn't do, we didn't meet or nothing like that. No, All right, no. but but you tried to, and that's the problem, right? Okay. So, yeah, so the, that's that's the situation pretty much, and you sent uh, stuffed underwear pictures to her as well, and it, okay, and you asked. That's, a, that's an old Okay, and you asked for of her too, which yeah, I don't know why I did that. Okay. So, I mean, you said this was the youngest girl you talked to. Yeah. Okay. So. Do you have the text message? Yes, we do. We do. Um, he went to go meet her in the city, I guess not the county, but um, obviously it's all the same county here. They're just straight up going ahead and cuffing him, bro. Get a shot of the handcuffs. Which arm's hurt? Thing. Yeah. Yep. Oh, and sir, he also, or she also has his phone. He gave it to her.
these. Oh, keep these. So these are in everything, but you'll get a very clear picture of like what's going on here by reading these. Like I'm 11, and then on camera voluntarily he like he said yeah I was gonna do all that stuff. Like he didn't hide anything really. Now you, you didn't ask for any pictures. Nah. No. Nah. Yeah he in, yeah you see he said in the first one. Yeah, we asked him for a selfie, like a face shot or whatever, but like all the news, like You can't delete text on Facebook. You can delete them from your view, but they're still there. The cops can subpoena like Facebook, Twitter, uh, Snapchat, all these social media sites, and they can uh, recover your text messages even if they're deleted. So, yeah. You can't delete it. Not to mention, they also have the messages on their own phone, too. Like, he solicited the whole time? Well, we didn't send him any, but, you know, you know what I mean. Yeah. Oscar Rodriguez of the two just woke up, but is that Miss Trunchbull? Who is Miss Trunchbull? I don't know, but that fucking, like, stature was quite impressive. I'm gonna get And we have all the copies like digitally for you guys where it's more than that, but that's like should be more than enough to just see like, okay. And we're from Houston, Texas. So um, he tried to meet up a few weeks ago when we weren't obviously not in town. So we had him take a picture of him actually going to meet so we could prove that he did, did go in fact to meet and all that stuff. High society, man. High class individuals. <laughs> Bruh. Gut check. Taylor with the five, it's crazy. This just like a casual thing for them. Yeah, it is wild, man. It is fucking wild. Degeneracy never ceases to fucking amaze. What a loss to society, everyone. He didn't do nothing, right? But anyway, guys, it's three for me. I need to head to bed. Have a wonderful Monday, everybody. Appreciate y'all hanging out. And yeah, I'll talk to everyone later. Peace out, everyone. Have a good one.